Hey. Is it, are we? Is it rolling? We might we're be rolling. drunk. We're here. We're queer. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hanukkah, Festival of Lights. How, how do you put Kwanzaa before Hanukkah? Wow, well, uh, white guilt. Tough year. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, it wasn't in Germany. I'm sure they put it before. <laughs> Could you, so you're not hungover for once, and Mark is. No, no, no. That's not what I meant when I said that. Hmm. Mark's very hungover. Yes. And I said what's frightening is how not hungover I am. Meaning, I should be ex- the way I drank last night. I should be extraordinarily hungover. <laughs> And the way I am bouncing back from, dr- I don't know what to say, man. You got alcohol <laughs> lips. I know those lips. That's huh? a dry lip. That's yeah. your your body has no moisture. Do you get the thing when you're hungover? Because this has been happening to me, and it scares the shit out of me. But yet it won't stop me. Yeah. Uh, I wake up like after a night of drinking, like six a.m. Mm-hmm. My mouth is bone dry. Yes. And my heart is going like yes. It's going like wildly, fast. and I'm like, oh my god. I'm man. so with you, and it's nice to hear that. And then you just the anxiety is looming, and you can't go back to bed. Uh, and, and then I'll I'm have sitting there going, I got married. What did I do? Uh, <laughs> I know. I give it a year. This is the saddest <laughs> Santa of all time. Yeah. <laughs> you ever wake up after a coke bender? Like fuck, Santa's falling <laughs> off. Fucking bad Santa part three, baby. Let's sad. Santa. Sad Santa. Sad Santa. Oh, it's pitching Bad Santa 3. Sad Santa. There you go. Dude. Uh, Sponsored by Zola. So you went, where did you drink? Well, I own a bar, so. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever. We had Mike Cannon guest bartending last night. What? You guys should come down and do that sometime. It's fun. Uh, Is he doing that uh, badly? Uh, yeah. Is he struggling that bad? <laughs> you wouldn't do that? I'll drink at your bar. I don't want to bartend. Yeah, no, that's a job. you there for two hours and you, 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 you give out a... There's You're a trying week. to get us to do free labor for you. Yeah. No, a bartender back there with oh, you. Okay. Yeah, you what are you, you Tim just Cook? Pour a couple free shots. <laughs> it's just a fucking party. I'll tell you what, come, back, come in and drink, and if you feel like hopping back there and pouring a drink, you're allowed to. He can make a mean uh, old-fashioned. Yeah, yeah, Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah, Negron. Um, I make the easy ones. Hey, we uh, yeah, we had up. Cannon guest bartending, and I went in to hang out for that, and then just oddly, like I, a lot of friends started texting me, like, "Hey, are you are you at the bar?" So Brooks Whalen came by. Is he in town? He he, oh. he left today. Ah, but he came by. Sagalo came uh. by. My buddy Nick Simmons came by. My friends from this band, the Dooms, came by. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa! By. Is this Gene Simmons' son? Yeah, we're good friends. How's the tongue? <laughs> On the kid? Yeah. <laughs> you, the way you said you were good friends was so aggressive. <laughs> we're very close. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Uh, yeah, but we're 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 tight these days. Whoa! He brought me to one of the final Kiss shows. Yeah. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was, was that a great sweet. show? It was amazing. Yeah. We stood against the stage. Wow! I was standing so close that I took my drink and I went to set it down. And I almost put it on on the platform that Gene Simmons like stood on, and I was Jesus. That, like, it was literally that. It was wild. Damn, we had a blast. Do they still got it? Kiss? They killed. Wow, they were killed. Dude, his dad's like wa- he's still walking around doing the tongue kicking. Like it's crazy, man. Remember when they had that reality show for a minute? Yeah. No. Family Jewels. Yeah. yeah. What? Was that like an Osborne ripoff? Kind yeah, it was of, like that yeah. kind of, you know, when when every rock family was doing one of those things. Him right. Shannon Tweed. Oh, I love that Tweed. I hung out with her backstage. Whoa. She still got it? She's still, like, gorgeous. Pull her but she up. She was super cool. Like, I, I I was like, Nick, can I tell your mom that I, I'm a big Frasier fan and I love her episode of Frasier? I don't remember <laughs> the Frasier episode. She's an episode of Frasier. And, uh... He was like, yeah, tell her. And I go up to her and I go, uh, hey, it's so nice to meet you. And I go, I go, I love your episode of Frasier. And she goes, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I go, wow. I go, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. That's and we hot. started talking. And then I go, you raised a really great kid. Nick's a good kid. And she goes, oh, fuck off. Oh, like, I love wow. this woman. She was so ball breaky. Yeah. But we were we were talking and laughing. She was great, man. She was oh, great. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, what a she was, s- Frasier milf. is not what I would open with personally. Yeah, that's, that's right? my. I love yeah. Frasier, man. I love Frasier. I was excited to meet somebody that was on Frasier. We're though. trying to get Kelsey Grammer on here, and I feel like we, we're making some headway, right? All wow. right, we're trying. We got to get him when he's shit housed. Then he'll say yes. Can I please come in when Kelsey Grammer is here? Please. <laughs> Maybe. I'm I getting Frazier tattooed on my arm. What? what? You think I'm kidding? No, I don't think you're kidding. But that's a crazy I, tattoo. It's my favorite it. sitcom of all time. I've seen Damn. your other tattoos. I believe you. <laughs> I'm getting Roz tattooed on <laughs> hey, my thigh. Thank so. you, Beard Juice. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting the logo tattooed. What are we drinking, around? by the way? The Beard Wizard Jew. of Roz. Uh, today, actually, it's uh, something that you like. The uh, uh, but. Uh, uh, brown butter fat oh! uh, Brummel fashion. 
But this is like my little take on it with a little clove, like for Christmas. Did you just turn that down? I, I don't want to. I heard the... rum. I'm out. Oh. No, 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 no. Just take it. Give it a sip. For the, for yeah, the sake right. of the holidays, I got, Joe. I got something else for you. What is this, also, peer pressure? I, I, I felt that coming. Whoa, Joe DeRosa well. flipping well, peer listen, pressure on me? I got hey, some, wow. I got the ultimate. Well. This is All crazy. Right, I can't believe cheers, we have this cheers. on tape. Happy holidays, guys. <laughs> well, we can't get eggnog in this bitch? <laughs> Let's get some eggnog. I can't have eggnog. I got a dairy thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, we, we got apple whiskey coming. Snorted a bag of Coke last week. You can't have dairy. All right, here we go. Last week, it's pretty good. It. That's how I should have responded yeah. to that. Last night, what do you, sw- what do you think? Yeah. Hey, it's not bad. It is tasty. That's not bad. Brown butter. See, this is how it starts. You know, you say I'm not going <laughs> to drink today, and then you're having but a cocktail at two p.m. It's just to get over the the hangover. Then we're back for you. Yeah, for me, I'm not hungover, so it's going to start the new. Oh uh, yeah, ball rolling. Well, you might still have the the booze flowing through your veins. I got to see Thanksgiving later. Oh, with Tim Dillon. Oh yeah, I heard he's in it. Yeah, yeah. You're a big horror movie guy. Yeah, but I have a pod. I have a movie podcast called We'll See You in Hell. I got re- we got to review it tomorrow, so I got to see. I got to actually go see it. You guys got spots tonight? Yeah, yeah. You guys last time I was telling the story last night to Sagalo and Cannon. Uh, the last time I did the show was when we did your bachelor party. And I oh go, Jesus, dude! I go. It went for four hours. I go. I was so fucked up. And then Sam goes. I'm taking us all out to dinner at Old Homestead. We yeah. go to Old Homestead. We drink through dinner. Yeah. Steaks. We left. I was like, I have to go home. And you guys were like, Come on, come hang with us while we do spots. Yeah, and I was like, we did sex. I don't. I go. I wouldn't walk in the club without spots in the oh, state yeah. I'm in. You guys went in and did actual sets. Like I, I was. Well, like, I wouldn't that call is... that an actual set. Yeah, that was, that he was... went full Kramer. <laughs> he was just in such a blackout. <laughs> Holy shit, man! I was no, like, this kidding. is amazing to me. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Well, yeah. once you get on that stage, you kind of clear up a little. Yeah, yeah, a little, a little. It was. It wasn't great. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was doing old jokes. I couldn't think of my new stuff. It was bad. I just started. Uh, I just started doing some spots again. Uh, cause I haven't been doing them. I've just been doing the road, but I'm starting to rebuild. But, City uh, spots are tough, man. It's, I feel like the show is always running behind or some shit. They're, the time's always getting cut. I know. It's hard to work on new shit. Yeah. So then you just force it in. Then you, you, you know, but you don't want to eat it either. Yeah. The best case scenario is all like, like I was at the stand on Monday night. I had a few pops in me cause I did Legion of Skanks and oh, whatever. Boy. I was pretty fucked up, but and then Aaron was like, you want to go on frantic? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I just got to go up, do 10 minutes. I worked on one new joke, had a great set. I was like, this is how I always want to do it. That's like, nice. Yeah. That commitment, On I start thinking on Monday about the sets on Wednesday. I'm like, oh, yeah. God damn it, man. Like, it just hangs over me. I have that, too, with the, the avails. You know, like the seller's like, hey, put your avails in every week. And on Sunday or whenever the hell you put them in, I'm like, ah. I don't know. I can't figure that like out. Two weeks ahead. Yeah. So like, I'm like, I don't know where I'm going to be in two weeks. Exactly. The seller's got that system where it's like, you put in this Wednesday for the following Thursday through the second Tuesday. Brain it's twister. Brutal. <laughs> and then a also, remember when we used to do the voicemail? Oh, the that was the one yeah. where I'm like, I remember Mark used to call and he would just like, we were young comics just dying for spots and Mark would be like, SD, how are you? Uh, Go yeah. Yankees. You know, yeah. <laughs> just kissing up for spots. I had Hava Nagila playing in the background. I was just trying to <laughs> play ball ball here yeah. yeah i remember she would call you with your spots terrifying yeah she would like now they just text it or email it what an what actually a i didn't system. work there when that was the system i worked there in this new i didn't work there till 2019 really whoa so. yeah, what happened happen? with you in the cellar nothing there's no what we, well mom? there's no there's a actually there is a story in the book there we go you fucked esty no 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 <laughs> <laughs> the uh gnome there was no i i was always friends with the club gnome and i had a had a weird thing where he played like a prank on me he's the owner this is, this is getting pretty inside yeah here. sorry he pl- he played a prank on me and i got very mad at him mm. and i was like you know what dude like what and and it was it was there was some tension for a can few. we hear the prank i wasn't working at the club i was it was at a time in my career where I would have very much liked to have been working at the club. I think I had been passed, and then I got it didn't last very long. Uh, I don't know. It was just I was just I wasn't where I wanted to be uh, in in the business, and 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 I really wanted to be working there at that time. And um, uh, I, no, 
if, oh boy. if you see this, no, we're all good. We're fine. Like, I'm not, not gonna telling this. the story no. to disparage you in any way. But also yeah. to the viewers. I'm not saying this to disparage Noam. Oh, boy. This is just what happened. Okay. And he, he apologized, and we've totally been fine for years. Spit it out, you Egyptian. <laughs> I get a text. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm at Gotham doing a spot, and my I, I get off stage, and you know you go sit on those booths on the yeah, side for me, yeah. and I was sitting there, and I get a text, and uh, it's it's from this it's something like, "Hey, um, we we had a fallout or something like that, you know? Can can you come down here and and do a set?" And I was like, oh, "Yes, yes." Finally, it was like a Friday night. I was like, "Yes, yeah, finally, right?" So I literally rushed to the cellar. I'm all excited. I get there and Noam goes, there's no spot. I just wanted to show everybody your terrible tattoo. Oh. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? That's dude? a double zing. Not a good prank. Yeah. No. I was like, are you kidding me? And he was like, he's like, come on. We're bust. Come on. We bust balls. I was like, you had a tattoo of Niles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kelsey Grammer was there. Uh, he's a grammar Nazi. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know, somebody tried to do that on a, on a TV show. What's that? I Kelsey forget, Grammer. Nazi? I forget the guy's name. The guy did that prank show. Uh, Ashton Kutcher. The guy that's that's the guy whose brother is the singer in the Scissor Sisters. He had a prank. <laughs> what the fuck? I know. That's supposed I know. to help me. Yeah. Well, anyway, he had a prank TV show and he tried to do a sketch called Grammar Nazi with Kelsey. Oh. Kelsey Grammer said no. Ah, so, we'll get him so, to do okay, it. So he, you come down there and and who's laughing at? Who's down there? I don't remember who he was sitting with. I think it was a couple comics or something. I, I don't remember. That's not a good. That's not a cool. Prank. No, it was not cool. And 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 later he very sincerely and heartfelt like he goes, dude, I'm really sorry. You know how we are in here. We you guys all trash each other. I really thought it was just like going to be this funny thing. Yeah, it was not a good move. I'm really he it, it, and I go, dude. It's totally fine. What like, he could have just you. done is told Esty to give you a spot and had everyone there, <laughs> and that way they he still could have done the prank without the hurting you. Anyway, Good years point. later, I, yeah. I passed, yeah. <laughs> and I still have the tattoo. There you what, go. Which tattoo is this? And actually, I got it covered and redone, not because of that, because I never was that crazy about it. The, I, okay, I had a, I have the tattoo here. Yeah, KK. K Keep kicking them in the nuts. Keep kicking them in the nuts. Oh. K K T I N. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Because when I met George Carlin, he said keep. He was my idol. He said keep kicking them in the nuts. Hell yeah. Thought it was awesome. And I saw an interview later where he said he go. They said, do you ever give advice to young comics? He goes, I always tell them to keep kicking them in the nuts. I was like, oh, he said that to me. That's awesome. I like yeah. it. And I got the letters tattooed on my arm because I was like, what a great reminder to sort of glance down at your arm every time you feel like shit. And right. Go, wow. I was going to slit, and then I saw <laughs> yeah, the tattoo. Exactly. So well, I had it here, but I had it. It looked, it did look Aryan, the font I chose. Uh, Mike Yard, in fact, at one point was like, what the fuck is that, man? I was like, uh, this is this is bad. I fucked up. Yeah. I did this wrong. So I got it covered up and, and redone here. But the joke, part of what fueled Gnome's joke was Metzger kept like telling this story it, actually Metzger might have been there when this happened Metzger kept telling the story to everybody of like and DeRosa thought that that like <laughs> this was advice just to him but he says it there and I go I never thought that uh, like you're just you're making up your version of that. this so it's funny for you to tell I was yeah. like but I never there's like I, I I knew what it was right right that's and brutal. um and so that was the that was the joke of to, of the tattoo to to for the prank that Noam played. Or Kurt whatever. Metzger, I was in the car and I, and some of his it's like serious is playing. Some of his old shit came on and man, there were some killer. Oh, he was amazing. brilliant. He had a, the joke about uh, the banking crisis and he goes like, I understand what they did because like think about what you do in Monopoly. Like you step over your own mother's throat, uh, you'll steal money from her, and that's yeah. a fucking game. Yeah. yeah. Now think about someone you don't care about. Like right. that's a fucking brilliant. Wow, yeah, what a take. Observation. Did you? His joke. I mean, I, I'm not going to do it justice. His new joke about uh, trans trans women. He goes, he goes. There's a lot of debate about whether or not people think trans women are actually women. And he's like, uh, I forget how he sets it up. It's he does something where he goes, he goes. They, I don't think they are women. I think they are actually improved women <laughs> he goes, have you watched them in sports it's not even close oh, <laughs> Damn. I love, man he's so great. funny such he's, a great bit i love his bit about uh like black dick is just a big part of why you don't want to go to prison 
Uh-huh. And he's like, black dick is now part of the judicial system. No. You know, like, I'm so scared of black dicks getting in my ass in the shower <laughs> that I'm not going to steal this candy bar. You do know? You, do you, oh, we, the other thing about going to, I think it's part of that bit where he's like, uh, how are you so scared to go to prison to get raped? He's like, but there's people going there who are like, I can't wait to rape people. Oh, oh wow. That's a take. Do you guys want to, I had it, uh, this bit never worked. It was Hit me. prison rape. Yeah. I was like, here's the reason. About, <laughs> like, here's the weird thing about rape. The people in society that are most terrified of rape are women, obviously. Uh huh. The safest place a woman could be is prison. She will never get raped in prison. Wow. Unless it's a trans inmate. Well, but this is 10 years ago. Okay. Women don't rape other women. If yeah. men are the rapists, then they go to jail, and then they get raped. It's, it's, an, it's, it's a startling irony to me in all that. I see what but you're saying. But women must, there must be female rape in prison. I How? What do you, scissor? How does that work? Is. Well, I think uh, women have sex with guards, and that's considered rape because this is a power dynamic. Ew. So, yeah. Could you, dude, could you imagine? I, I mean, I don't mean in a, I mean in a consensual way. Yeah. Can, I can't think of anything hotter. That if I was a prison guard and uh, a hot inmate was uh, like, I want you to go fuck me like in the showers. I mean, right it's, now, a, I would, it's a porno plot. I would. Oh, my God. That is hot. Very hot. hot stuff. And then you could just lock her up after. You don't have to call. <laughs> you know? <laughs> sorry. This sorry, is, lady. Sorry, I didn't call, but you're in prison. What do you, do you want, want to cuddle? I, I have to do my job. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the let clock. me do my job. Exactly. Um, do you guys want to hear what I believe is the most perfect joke ever written? Yeah. All right. I assume it's not yours. Oh, come okay. On. Come on, lay it you on me. Put these glasses on. All the stuff. <laughs> it's a whole different mark. <laughs> uh, it's Ron White. Yep. I think it's a new joke. I saw him tell mm. it at Skankfest. Um, I, I told it to some people last night. I was like, I think it's literally the most perfect joke I've ever heard. I always say he's the super underrated. Um, here it is. You know how to tell the difference between a rich kid and a poor kid? It's how they ask the question, do you know who my father is? Oh, that is great. That's that's great. It is. Wow. It's perfect. It took me a second, but it, it's perfect. That's, that's great. You don't even have to finish it. That's it. Know, that's hear, the joke. That's no, I great. I can hear it in his uh in his delivery, too. You just picture him delivering. That's Man, he's great. I picture him saying that, sitting back, taking a sip, and just letting it kill. He's got yeah. another one of mine. He has a bit, the cheating in Columbus bit, where it's like uh, he defends cheating. He's like, my wife got that crazy idea in her head that I cheated on her in Columbus, and I didn't. I'll tell you why. Like, just that he opens a bit yeah. <laughs> by being like, I did it. And then it, the whole part of the bit was like a woman was like, uh, you know, uh, let's uh, let's have a drink. And he goes, oh, I can't. I'm married. And she goes, no, come, come to my uh, hotel room and have a drink with me. And he goes, you know that little fella that pops in your shoulder and reminds you of your past commitment and your moral fortitude? Well, I didn't hear a peep out of him. Uh, <laughs> That's a great fortitude. fucking bit. <laughs> what a great sentence. The fact that like you open a bit pushing the audience away by being like, I cheated. And you know his crowd is probably a lot of married people. Yeah. And, he, and then by the end, they're fucking dying. That's funny. That's amazing. He's, a, he's a great. He's I, a I was, drunk in public album. Oh, uh, you put me in public. Right before, the, uh, right before that set where I saw him tell that joke. I was talking to him backstage a little bit at Skankfest. I just went up to him because I'd seen him the night before in the green room. And I was yeah. f- tanked yeah. when I saw him. And he's sober now. Yeah. Well, he's California sober. Weed? He, well, he does, he's done mushrooms. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just every other drug now. Yeah. Well, that's what everybody does. Yeah. They quit booze. Then they, they still like will take. I don't know if he still does. Well, this is evil. That's why. I mean, it kills your body. Cut this. Cut this story. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Well, you, I hate to... <laughs> you didn't even say anything yet. He, he wasn't... Dr- I don't think oh, this is... Oh, I see. I don't yeah, think this yeah. is a secret. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, let's cut it. it. Yeah, we'll cut it. We'll yeah, cut yeah, it. Sorry. It's a tough thing about podcasts now. You just don't know, but... Say what you will about this cat, but he's got one of the best cheating jokes, Pat Dixon. He's, his old stuff was unreal, where he said, uh, a lot of people say, how the hell does cheating happen? Well, I'll tell you how it happens. A guy meets a woman, and she's nice, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. I love that. I love those types of jokes where it's just like they just end prematurely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. Uh, Dixon used to have a joke where he said, you know, it's, you know, it's going to be a good blow job when she puts the breathe right strip on her nose. <laughs> That's killer. 
And he's like, uh, he's got that great joke. He's like, women like when you send flowers to work. You know, they can smell them. They smell great. Women love flowers. Man, I wish you could send pussy to work. You know, <laughs> they're 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 pretty and they smell. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the minus great makes it a joke. I agree. Oh, so you got Carlin saying kick him in the nuts. I did a set once where it was like a little shaky. I was killing, and then I went a little dark, and I lost him. And Bill Burr was in the wings. I didn't know, and he goes, fuck this crowd. Keep saying crazy shit. And then he went on, and that meant the world to me. And then Mark got a tattooed right here. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. It's all the way down my leg. Keep saying crazy (laughs) shit. (laughs) All right. That's cool. That's a nice moment. You need, you need, yeah, when you're fucking eating shit as a young comic, you need just like anything. Because there's no, there's no worse feeling than having a bad set and seeing a comic you fucking love in the wings. Oh, God, I know, I know. I'll, I'll even see an open micer in the wings, and I'm like, better bring the heat. Burr, I got to kick uh, it up a notch. Burr changed my whole trajectory. Oh, yeah? Literally. How so? With one set, I was doing the old Gotham. Uh, I remember I, at the time I had a bit about... I was very young, and I had a bit about um, text mess. How much I hated text messages, and I was screaming about how much I hated. It's probably in the T nine days too. Yeah, and uh, I I uh, I I killed. I killed so hard, and and I was when I first became friends with Bill, and he he came in. We were going to go out drinking, and I looked up and I saw him, like watching as I was killing. And I was like, oh yeah. You know, and uh, and I got off stage and I'm waiting for the like, dude, great job, you know. Yeah. And he goes, hey, let me ask you a question, dude. When are you going to actually start talking about what you're actually angry? No, oh, you can be angry about text. And I go, what do you mean? And he goes, you're not that fucking mad about text messaging. Wow. And I go, yeah, but and he goes, DeRosa, you killed. But I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to become the angry guy. Whoa, that's fake. Start Whoa. talking about what you're really upset about. And it was hard to swallow in the moment, and it changed everything immediately. I was like, okay. And I was yeah. like, you're right. I can't f- pretend to be mad. Yeah. You know? But you are the angry guy. I'm like angry. in real life. Yeah, but but also t- t- to uh, – it was it – was, that and then Evan Steinberg, my first manager, said to me, he goes, you're not angry, you're dejected. There's a difference. Ooh, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, and I was like, oh, so those two pieces of advice really shaped, like, I was like, yeah, it's not about going up and being like, and let me, because there's those yeah. comics. And I'll tell you another thing that's bullshit, people. Yeah. You seen these pull tabs on the new juice boxes? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you got the, guy, the guy who's angry about socks. Yeah. yeah, yeah let yeah. me tell you about these fucking ankle socks. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Why? <laughs> yeah, socks. Yeah, yeah. My ankle's cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see this prime two day delivery bullshit? You're like, <laughs> <laughs> but I was you like, have to live, you have to always be that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that talks about what it actually does annoy me or pisses me off and in the moment if i'm talking about it and i start to get worked up then i start to get worked up that's real and if i don't then i don't i can still talk about it it's but that's like in acting like a lot there's acting techniques where it's like you don't go in going i am going to get angry right you go in saying this is what my goal is and wherever the scene takes me emotionally it could be anger or tears or yep. laughter or whatever and that's the way I look at stand up too. My goal is to get a certain reaction out of you and I'm going to be emotionally present. And yeah. sometimes that reaction or or that experience makes uh, you get a little ang- aggravated. Sometimes sure. it's jovial, sometimes it's a little more deadpan. I don't know. Like yeah. you know, I feel. don't think of you as an angry person. Like I you, I feel like angry people when I'm around them they drain me and you're not you're not a draining person. Irritated maybe? Yeah, you're definitely irritated. I think it's definitely a little but irritation is funny. To be yeah, in a constant true. state sure. of irritation is funny. Good point. I think it's I think it's definitely a little it's it's more like in the Larry David right. zone of just like I can't let it go. <laughs> Everything is annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do yeah. get too upset about certain things, but at the end of the day, I'm not a cunt. What's yeah. the last thing you got really pissed off about? Mmm, Hamas. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he didn't mind that. Um, I heard a woman say, I follow all these women on YouTube that uh, that tell you what they think is hot about men. Yeah. I don't know, it feels like everybody hates men, so when a woman's like, this is what's sexy about men, I'm like, all right, finally. But she said when a guy gets angry, that's hot. 
because it's like dominance and he, he tells you how he feels. How about and when they're dejected? Is that hot? Dejected's no good. Mm. I That's think if out. you get the right kind of angry in front of a woman, like take like like I had a girl once with me at the bar and all this shit was going wrong. Mm. And I was like and I, I and it was we were kind of like on a date and I like had to leave I had to leave her sitting. And I was walking back, and, and I kept coming back and sitting with her, and then something else, and I'd be like, this fucking never fucking ends. Jesus fucking Christ. And I would get up again, and I'd come back, and I'd be like, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Just, and I, are you fucking kidding me? Right, you know? And then, like, after, she's like, she's like, I kind of thought it was, like, hot. There you go. Like, you're, like, taking charge of shit. I was like, oh, that's cool. Exactly. Yeah, that's because you own the bar. If that you're helps. just an angry dude in the corner, it would not be <laughs> Well, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The guy's angry. What do you mean we're out of these fucking glasses? I just bought these things. No, you didn't. <laughs> but look, you're just drinking here. What are you talking You're about? in control. That's why it's hot. Um, yeah, that helps. The last thing, this is the kind of shit that sets me off. I was trying to book my Uber here, and uh, I was getting nervous because of traffic, and I yeah. didn't want to be late. And I was trying to, uh, like, I pulled up the address, and then all of a sudden that red thing came up at the top that's like, sorry, we can't connect no. to the network. And I was like, son of a bitch. And then I backed out of the app, and then I went back in, and then it wouldn't, like, you know when it shows the address, but it, you're t you're hitting it, yes. to, and it's not oh. recognizing it. And I go, what the? And then the five-star rating for my last driver popped up. Oh. And I just go, fuck get the fuck off the screen man <laughs> yeah. god damn it like, uh, so, yeah. like stuff like that will just make me crazy yeah you know? no I'm with you on yeah. that like network because we're so used to it now you know what annoyed me recently and this is so stupid but it bugs me that fucking Burger King ad that jingle where they're like BK have, have it, it your, your way. way you rule <laughs> That's well, such a do. pandering fucking ad. Well, I hate you do, pandering. I know, but it bugs me. You rule. It's you like, rule. Who it's like they're to? trying too hard. That's what? not how you feel after you eat Burger King. Yeah, true. Why don't you see worth in yourself, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, I just this? found out that Push a T Thank good bartender. wrote, do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Get the fuck out yes, of here. Yes, Push a T, the rapper, wrote that. Whoa. That's not true. I'll go pull it up. <laughs> That's a great made up fact though. That's, yeah. There's no way He's set for life. True. If that is true. Push a T wrote the McDonald's infamous. What? Oh, <laughs> what? oh Dude, did you know that Neil Young Well hold wrote, on, hold did on. You wrote, did you know that Neil Young wrote Liberty? Liberty, Liberty. <laughs> it's fucking that's a Neil Young jam. <laughs> Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Go to the... Hold on a second. You know that R. Kelly wrote, eat fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. Look at that. I got a drink with a the Pringle on the what, side what, of the what glass. Do you, Ooh, what, what do you got here? here? That's a... Uh, I'm digging this. Now we're talking. Yeah, there we go. Apple whiskey? It's uh, basically like an apple fashion. That's oh. very good. Dude, uh, I remember... Uh, Man, all the athletes, they love, like, the honey whiskey and shit, you know? I remember I was in a in a bar in Milwaukee in a fucking Knicks sweatshirt, it was, like, many years ago. And they tell me Latrell Sprewell goes to this bar every night. And he's my favorite player as a kid. And I'm like, yeah, he doesn't come here every night. He's there every fucking night. Whoa. And he walks in. And I'm like, holy shit, Sprewell. So I'm like, I'm a young, dumb comic. I go up to him and I'm like, oh, Mr. Sprewell, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan, you know? And he's like, okay. Uh -oh. And I was like, I'm scrambling in my head. I'm like, can I get you a drink? He goes, already got a drink. He's got his apple whiskey or whatever. Yeah. Honey whiskey, whatever. And I say, uh, well, uh, I'm like running out of options and a way to connect. And I just panic. I was like, I'm playing the comedy club next door. And he goes, I, I go, it'd be cool if you came to a show. And he goes, don't count on it. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. And then I, I walk away. I was like, that was brutal. That's Damn. like a childhood hero. And then – um. Another guy there with us. We didn't. It was like a, a like a girl a girl who's hosting's boyfriend was like, "I'm gonna. I work for Bleacher Report. Let me handle this." He walks in, and all I see is Spreewell going, <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, he got it worse than me. Whatever. Yeah. Thank God." And then uh, I was like, man, that, that was kind of a bummer. I do the shows for the weekend. At the end of the weekend, the bartender was like, oh, man, I saw Spree. He wasn't too friendly. I was like, yeah, he's, like, he's a good guy. He's just a little rough around the edges. And I, she goes, I'm texting him right now. I said, I was at the comedian you met the other night show. And uh, it was actually a really good show. And Spree, <laughs> Spree writes back immediately. Yeah, I met him the other night. Great guy. Oh, I got the nice version. <laughs> wow! But then I met him years later, like when I had the MSG show, and he was he was pretty friendly. But I was like, man, that was a fucking that's when you just freeze with someone you like. Oh. There's no sadder moment. What was Terrible. the contract he turned down? Three years, twenty one million. When when players weren't getting that shit. And what was his reason? 
he, he, this was the it was the quote that went viral. He goes, "I got to feed my kids," <laughs> and, and so now people like would yell that at him. At so it was bad, you oh. know, because he never got a contract after that. He turned that down, and no other team offered him shit. Jesus. Damn, and he was still good. It just wow. But he, I loved him, dude. He was my guy. Jesus, Damn. he was a great player. He was what happened? choked his coach. What Whoa. happened? In Golden Whoa. State, he no no he's retired. But he oh. in Golden State he choked his coach because they they got a disagreement. PJ oh. Carlissimo, the Knicks pick him up, and it's one of the things where you're like, this could be bad. He was awesome for us. Pull he it was up. Like, trying. Oh yeah, he was the fucking man. Is the choke on TV? No, it was in practice. So. Oh, it was in practice. But he was a fucking beast. Whoa. I don't. I've never even heard the man's name until right now. That's him. Yeah, he was a badass. Damn, you're lucky he didn't That's choke you sense. out. <laughs> I, know. I, just, I don't know anything about uh, anything. This but. is like for the way you love comic books. I love basketball. Okay, I don't. Well, comic books, not yeah, but video games, horror more? video movies. games, horror, horror movies. movies. Okay, yeah, all, right. all right, there we go. Yeah. See, we can connect. We can connect. There you go. I get it. This I, is your uh, leather face. I heard you. <laughs> I heard you talking about the tales for the crypt thing, and I'm like, I, I get, I get the passion. I got a second one. Did you? Yeah, remember when we? Because uh, I was with you when I won the auction for the first one, and I bought a second one that has my favorite Tales from the Crypt story ever in it, mm. and it was double what the first one cost. Which issue? Uh, <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> Tales is on this. It was like issue, I think it's issue number thirty-two. Whoa! And it contains a story called Counting Cards. Nerd alert! Uh, I'll know the cover when you show it to Let's me. Check. Wow, look at this. You ever see Bordello of Blood with Dennis Miller? Terrible movie. It's that one with the elephant on the cover. Yep. Uh oh. Um uh yeah, it's a terrible movie. Really? But, but I, I like the Dennis Miller parts. Yeah, yeah. Dennis Miller is really funny in it. I'm a huge Dennis Miller fan. Dude. I really wish he would do, do stand up again. I did a show once when he had a, he had a, he took over Larry King's show on whatever I don't know what network it was even on but it was he took it over he was cool as shit yeah he's so fucking funny man so quick I, I did a I show two days before so COVID yeah it was like two days before the fucking country shut down and I remember him being like oh yeah I got myself a little COVID drip like yeah. he just kept making jokes about it he's like he's like yeah give me a break like anything's gonna happen I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking world shut down he's great. so funny he had yeah. that line he goes uh Capri Sun that's harder to get into than Martha Stewart on some dirty sheets <laughs> My favorite Dennis Miller, well, one of my favorite Dennis Miller, he goes, uh, he, he, I, I got to try to remember the wording. It's so good. It's all about the wording. He Fuck. goes, uh, he goes, he goes, I got into a cab in France. The cab driver smelled like he was getting a permanent while eating gargonzola <laughs> in a meat processing plant. <laughs> I go, hey, pal, there's an extra Finsky in it if you run over a fucking skunk. <laughs> Man. I mean, it's like, Jesus Christ. Wow, there's dude. so many adjectives in that. Gargonzola, <laughs> the skunk. I mean, uh, DePaulo has a little of that. I saw DePaulo hand a guy the camera in the front. He goes, get a, get a few uh, get a few shots of me. And he goes, I took the camera home. It was like I gave it to Michael J. Fox shirtless in a windstorm on a mechanical bull. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just how many, keeps going. Yeah, how many things can you pepper in there? It just always, keeps getting text, funnier. Nick always finds the funniest word choice. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, it'll be like, yeah, I saw a homeless, you know, he had the one about the homeless guy sleeping. And he goes, see, he's, you know, I got an $800 mattress at home. This guy's sleeping like a baby on a Heineken bottle. You know? <laughs> a broken Heineken a bottle. A broken Heineken. Yeah. I just sent you one, Salacuse. This, this, I saw this, like... Our buddy Mike Lawrence co-wrote this on SNL. This cracked me the fuck up. Great writer, Mike Lawrence. Dude, he's so funny. Wait, I, I didn't know Mike, Mike was writing for SNL. He did it. He did it when uh, Pete hosted because he. he I texted. Uh, I texted DePaulo the other day. He had a thing on Instagram, one of his clips from his podcast, and he goes, he goes. So this is a story about men that start relationships, uh, according to the writer, men who start toxic. Don't, don't put the word toxic in there. Don't tell me what I think, whore who wrote it. <laughs> or who wrote it. <laughs> I text him, I go, dude, I am losing my <laughs> shit at this fucking clip. And I just wrote in quotes, whore who wrote it. 
And he goes, that's my favorite line in it. <laughs> uh, and I remember I saw Nick once, and he uh, he had a line in a Howard Stern roast years ago where he goes, yeah, Howard comes from a, a, of a long line of uh, thick-skinned Jews. You don't believe me? I, I go to visit his relatives in a lampshade factory in Auschwitz. Oh. And I mention it to him, and he goes, oh, that line came to me like right outside the fucking Jesus. venue. I was like, Jesus Christ. That came to you. That's hilarious. He was at the thing I sent you, Sal? Yeah. He, he was a master of the, of the roast stuff man he was oh so yeah yeah he had he, oh man he had a uh, the, the roast jokes he did on like the pam anderson roast were fucking insane oh yeah he was ruthless he's like uh i don't want to say uh, lisa lampanelli fucks a lot of black guys but they all call her on her sickle cell <laughs> He had one. He goes, Pam Anderson. Your movies are so bad. If someone was like, "Would you rather watch one of your films or watch a baby seal club to death?" I'd be like, "Call J Lo and tell her mittens already." Oh, uh, <laughs> mittens! Come on! The funniest fucking line. Man, oh man! He was made for those types of he got roasts. He was my so favorite good. joke of his of all time. It was it would do a one. It was a one two he did on a on a set. He goes. He goes. I was listening to some hip hop music today. Not by choice. It was coming out of a Jeep five blocks away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, speaking of music, do you guys see Jerry Garcia died? They said he was 55. I thought he was in his late hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's an angry guy. He's a, oh, yeah. No, that's not what I sent you. It's coming up here. Oh yeah. Okay. So wait, what? What is this? Oh, this, oh, is, this is great. This, you see what this? is this? You yeah, the kids. This, yeah, watch this. This is shit. from the Chris Rock show, though, isn't it? Oh no, it's from uh, SNL. He's dressed like a '90s kid. Oh, I thought this was from the old Chris Rock. Show. What up, Harlem? Ah. <laughs> Well, what is the premise here? No, 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 no. no. There was, it was a whole. It was just the kids. Well, that's, I sent you a different thing, oh, dude. Okay. These guys are funny. The please don't destroy guys. Wait funny. a minute. I think the original thing though, where he's the kid, is from the Chris Rock show. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, and I think they took that and they're doing a sketch about that on SNL. Mm. No, because Lawrence told me he wrote one of the lines in. Oh, this, okay. So that is a new thing. Yes, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I've that's seen not what I sent you. I've seen the one where it's just the it's just like the trailer for the show or what I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it's not going back to Pete. It was just that. Huh. Well, we'll find it. No, so, I sent it to you. Oh. Wow, this gets this gets awkward when Sam starts yelling at the Uh-oh. producers. Jesus. I never saw this side of you, Sam. Oh, oh yeah. well, sorry. it's him around Christmas. I'm know. just kidding. I'm just kidding. You <laughs> took that really seriously. No, no, I was no, just I joking. No, Sam no. goes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's the holidays. I'm trying to be nice here. Yeah, well. Sorry, we, Salomon. Look at this guy. He's manspreading on the couch. He's oh, mansplaining to you. The man. clip. This is man. Toxic, over. toxic the, male. Are guests coming? What happened with him? He said he's going to be here at 245. Oh, all right. Who's the other? Is that, or is that the surprise? surprise? No, no. We got Dennis Miller coming. Oh, no. no I'm just kidding. I know, Wait, so what's the big? surprise yeah you surprise it's not the guest it's did you just say surprise just to make me think there was a surprise possibly <laughs> that's a surprise i really got excited i would be here either way but i really got excited like there was like a, a surprise happen i wow. love surprises oh really oh yeah yeah. you don't not, not a lot of people like surprises i hate surprises i don't understand when people say i, I, I mean if it's a it's movie i don't want spoilers me. i want to be surprised if it's like a movie but like when somebody's like do not throw a surprise party for me i tell my wife every year i hate it. i'm like why who who would hate that? well what if you're in a weird mood and then all of a sudden you're like oh i gotta chum it up with the uh, Lin for. linda from work you go sit in the corner and drink till you're having a good time. I don't know it. if we that's an it. option. Okay, here it is. Here we go. What is this now? Same one, but this is just Sit your big ass down. And put on a move. Oh shit. Oh smoke dog. You don't even know where. Yeah, bitch. I got piano recital. Piano recital. Ah, that's great. You know when you, you can't get your straw, it just sounds like a free sun, so you gotta like hit it from the back? Ah. Hit it from the back. That's funny. The, the names are the funniest of the kids. Oh, 
<laughs> it's funny because there are it's adult perfect. comics who do crowd work like yeah. this. Yeah. But here's why, again, gold. again, uh, not to challenge you, Sam. Because I see how you can get. Don't challenge me. <gasps> but again, <laughs> this is not like it's it's. That's like a direct joke about kings of comedy. Like, why would SNL? Well, and then the kid, kid grown up in the sketch turning to Pete looks like that kid grown up. I didn't up. know. I didn't know it was in that context. I only saw it like that. I think this was a older sketch on something, and now they're reusing it. Because look, the kid's grown up when it gets to the office with Pete. It's the same kid. No, it's not. No, it yeah, and he goes, please no. don't destroy guys. No, no, no. Look, the redhead. That's not him. No, he goes, that's my first set. That's, that's the, the joke. That's joke. And I think they hired kids to do that. I don't know. I think it's no, the same No, it's not kid. him, dude. Am I crazy? Yeah. You're crazy. All right. You know those please don't destroy guys are fucking hilarious. Who's the... Pl no, who the those hell Those three kids right there. They just right made a movie SNL. on Peacock. I heard it's funny. Do you see it? No, oh, wait. No, funny. Funny. Those yeah, were the good. kids from SNL that just made a movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jeez, yeah. man, you gotta get out of that bar. You're living under a rock. <laughs> what do I care what some guy does on Peacock? Yeah, <laughs> good point. Good point. The angry guy about Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there's a new fucking streamer I gotta sign up for now. It was called NBC yeah. when I was a banging. You see this Peacock bullshit? I'll tell you, call it P Pussy, folks. Then maybe I'll watch it. Now let me ask you this. Yeah. Speaking of cock, have you covered the trans lady hand job enough yet? By the way, I found I out you hooked up with a trans person. Because someone heckled me with it while I was on stage in Phoenix. Same. I was just I was just on stage and someone goes, "What do you think about Derosa and the trans chick?" And I was like, "I don't." I love that my name's coming up at your show. Yeah, was, mine too. Oh, it's great. I, I was mean, like, I was like, I oh, don't yeah, know. yeah. We're, we're she's a she's a friend and, and yeah. uh, she's great, Nikki Fox. And uh, uh, pull yeah. her up. Well, we talked about it a ton, man. Okay. I, I mean, I don't care. I'll talk about it. But like, w you, you and I talked about it on Bobby's thing. Oh, like, that's the right. Day after it happened. But yeah. have you gotten another one since? Because I know you were really excited. Have about I it. hooked up with another trans woman since? No, I haven't, but, you know. Well, there's a I'm, surprise. I'm, uh, I'm Come on out, Shirley. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what? Once again, you got me very excited. <laughs> what? God damn it. Is, do you prefer trans women or are you, uh, or what? What's I haven't type? I haven't been with enough trans women to say I could prefer a, a cis woman versus a trans woman. I don't think, I don't think it's a preference. It's just, it's, you know, I think, uh, you know. Leah Thomas. Is she on your wall? Who's Leah Thomas? The, the swimmer? swimmer? Oh, I don't know that. Le uh, oh, I was thinking of Leah Thompson from Back to the Future. Boy, like, oh boy. <laughs> Showing that age. Bringing her up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fucking film knowledge. Yeah, right? Uh, I am not. I don't find Leah attractive. I'm All sorry. right. That's offensive. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, there's Sam and, and uh, Joe's ex. Where? On the right. Uh, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> it's Michael Sam. Phelps. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's a preference or anything like that. I think it's just, you know, people are people. Here, here. Yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. the giant dong would throw me off. Uh, a, a dick with a woman, for some reason, is is arousing to me. Wow. A dick, a dick on a man, I couldn't care less. I, I'm not attracted to men. It's and the you femininity. Discover this there? You, it, no, no. I, 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 knew, I knew before that I had an attraction. I had hooked up with uh, a trans woman when I was, years and years ago in Amsterdam. Oh. Uh, it was just a by chance thing. Um, and so so I, I, I knew that like I had an attraction, but like I just hadn't been really presented with, with uh, too many opportunities, I guess, to pursue it. Um. And, you know, it's just, I don't know. I never really thought of it. As, I, I swear to God, too, I'm not trying to sound like Mr. Progressive Enlightenment or whatever. I just never thought of it as like, well, that's a trans. I'm hooking up with a trans woman versus I'm hooking up with a straight. I'm just like, I'm just living life. And, and you encounter who you encounter. And, mm. and if you're attracted to them and something happens, great. So, yeah. Did you, you know? feel, were you ever insecure about it? Were you ever like... Oh, I feel weird that this is maybe not, you know, the norm and, or widely accepted yet. No, I, 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 I got a real attitude with people that are going to take issue with me uh, mm. with anything. I had one person in my life really question me. And, and I was like, and I said, if because they had said that their friends were kind of giving them some shit about it. And I was like. If your fucking friends or you or anybody has a problem with it, I c c go fuck yourselves. 
Like, I, you know, yeah, what do everybody's you a fucking liberal till it's time to be a liberal. Mm, you know, true. everybody's a liberal till it's time to be a liberal. You hear that, yeah. Hunter Biden? You know, so <laughs> so that's that. And, 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 and she was th- this person I'm talking about was fine with it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's kind of douchey I, to be like, I'm fine with it, but. Right. That's kind of douchey I, as well. I, I'm not saying it's not. And, and I want to just out of respect for her say she didn't necessarily present it that way. But I did have a very oh, a lady. strong reaction to it. Wow. Like, because I'm very like, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm the type of guy, if I'm bombing, I'm yelling at the audience and telling them that they fucking suck. Right. Like, it's like I'm not a guy that's going to go. So so if, if my family ever found out um, and, and, and they might know, I don't know. It's not a thing where I'm I don't feel any need to do anything. Yeah. So if they find out. And have an issue with it, I would uh, be like, well, all right, I guess we're done here. Damn. I'm not a guy that would be like, but it's my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck well, off. The only man. person I know who's upset about it is Norton. <laughs> <laughs> he that was his thing. It. Yeah, he did it first. <laughs> That's, she, that'd be great if people were like they were like you stole their bit, but it's just their personal life. <laughs> yeah, right. I fucking started that, dude. Oh hey! shit! Oh, there we go. This you is the slide surprise. Down. Yeah, there we go. Hey, hey, Keith. Right here, Matt. Here. I wonder why he's late. I wonder what took him so long. God what was the holdup? I talked to Keith this morning. You were the first person I talked to. Today. No way. I talked to Keith many mornings in the week. Oh, yeah, you guys nice. are still tight, right? Uh, very. What's that mic? Very, very, very. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're very tight. We should say, out of the gate, Keith is recording a special uh, December 19th at Sony Hall. You if you don't get right. tickets, get them now. His, his new hour is fucking awesome. Killer. So oh, funny. man. What and- are you going to do with positivity, Keith? You don't uh, know how to handle it. We'll get it out of the way early. <laughs> What's up? Ah, oh, it's like my dick. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Was he in finance? <laughs> Damn. Finance. Ah, well, I gotta say, Keith, you did that that whole bit with the guy with the cane, and I was like, that's a that's that's a clip, and it's up there now on Instagram. Ah, uh, goddamn right. We had to annoy Liz to get it though. He won't. Keith won't play the game. No, I'm never going to play. What's game. the game? I don't know. Just post the game with you, man. <laughs> Joe just bugs me. Uh, good. I don't want you in my life. <laughs> Anything that repel you is good. <laughs> you are such a fucking asshole. Yes. I call. I can call Keith any day of the week and go, I want to trash this person. And he's like, yeah, I yeah, know. It makes me sick. <laughs> so we called Voss this morning. Oh, Voss. Because we're tired of Voss's... Is Voss's pro Israel protest? On his <laughs> it's infuriating me because Voss could be the dumbest man I've ever known. <laughs> and him hey. acting like he's about to call. I call Keith. I go, I, I can't handle this anymore. And Keith's yeah. like, I got, got a fucking cocksucker. And we called <laughs> Voss off. And Keith goes, You're making me hate Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw a clip. I saw a clip of Voss. I saw a clip of Voss recently. Made me laugh out loud. Where he's like, he called. First off, he's like in his sixties, and he calls a woman in the front row. He goes, "Miss, you're a fucking two. <laughs> okay, what man in their sixties? So I remember I did a bringer show when I was like a brand new comic, and Voss was on the lineup. And my, it's like the first time my mom came to see me. Oh. And Voss in the crowd. And he said to a woman in the crowd, "She goes, Miss, you're a two on a Tuesday." And after the show, my mom goes, "That man was repulsive." <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Voss. Oh, he's hilarious. Uh, just I the fact him. that he's he's still pumping up those. He said something about like I, w- I would step over fuck uh, Freddie Mercury's. I would step over your body to suck Freddie Mercury's dick. <laughs> to him in the crowd, I'm like Jesus Christ. Uh, we need a compilation of those. Wouldn't he's that be best. great? He's the best. Uh, I fucking Voss love is Voss. a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad. I have I have the greatest Keith Robinson story of all time. There we go. Please. I've told this on many podcasts. I've never told it in front of you, I don't think. I can't wait. Oh. This is the greatest P- Keith Robinson story. It better story be of all good. Time. It's great. So a couple of years back, uh my aunt passed away. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We were really close and she passed away. I was very sad. So I was down in Jersey with my family trying to help. You know, with everything. And it sucked. And Keith, for whatever reason, was calling me like every day because he wanted to talk to me about something. I don't remember what it was. 
and I wasn't answering, and I also wasn't calling him back because I was dealing with my dead aunt, and it was a horrible time. <laughs> sure, it was you horrible. That close with the aunt? Very close. Well, okay. second mother. So got it. We're in, and it was also the the like fifth person in many deaths in my family in a short period. It was a very bad time. Yeah. So anyway, I'm driving. <laughs> I'm driving. My hand to God, I'm driving from the funeral mass to the cemetery to bury her. Okay. I'm in the funeral procession. My, you know, and you drive like 10 miles an hour. Yeah. And, those things, and my phone rings and it's Keith again. And I'm like this, what the fuck with this fucking guy? <laughs> so finally I answer. I go, yeah, hello? And he goes, listen to me, you fucking cocksucker. When I call you, you call me the fuck back. You take my calls, you piece of shit. Uh, what the fuck you got going on that you can't take my fucking calls? You got nothing happening, right? And I go, well, Keith, if you need to know, uh, my aunt died. So I've been dealing with that for the last few days. I'm driving to bury her right now, okay? That's why I haven't called you back, okay? There's this long pause. He just goes, uh, yeah, and always bug me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you never met her. That's cool. That's why it's funny. I mean, just a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a good dude, man. Yeah, that's a good guy. It's funny. It's a drinking podcast, but you sound the drunkest. <laughs> that's because, uh, you know, my stroke. Oh, <laughs> right, oh, right. Shit, God good. damn it. Uh, you have a joke in the in the new hour where you, where you talk about taking a Viagra on Thanksgiving uh, on a flight to Phoenix to get ass, and that's what caused a stroke. That's what caused a stroke, man. Is that what did it? Yeah, Viagra. Don't fly and pop on Viagra. Really? <laughs> why? Like that's why? Right. Like what? What's I've the effect that. that happened? The pressure. They were going on the scent. Okay. And I, you know, when Apollo makes the announcement, you know, my whole shit. I'm gonna take a Viagra so I can be ready when <laughs> yeah. I get there. And I pop that boy. And then it was, and then this. Oh shit! What my voice was gone. Wow. As I was walking. What? But you were walking. You started slurring and shit. Yeah. You're like, oh, here we go. But I had to get the pussy first. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't make it to the pussy. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you did. What do you think? I'm going straight to the hospital? <laughs> a fucking moron. This is the second uh, time you did not go straight to the hospital. You? This is the yeah, second, second stroke. Second one. Damn. I'm a man. <laughs> That's incredible. I so hope you, she appreciated it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tough guys plop uh, blue pills. There you go. All right. When you're tough, you take it and you keep going. Now, you know what? Every man in there should have done something to put their life at risk for ass. I sure. respect that. Oh, yeah, I've done that. Been there. That's right. I followed a girl on a bicycle in China <laughs> <laughs> through the woods because she was like... I Sounds got... like her life was at risk. Yeah, no. <laughs> she goes, women, women, you want women? I was like, yes. And I followed her through the woods on a That's bicycle. That's hilarious. I'm lucky I didn't get murdered. Like, after the fact, I was like, what the fuck was I doing? Uh... <laughs> I want to, um, like, a you know, Richard Allen housing project uh -huh. for this girl, like, 2 in the morning. Now, Richard Allen housing projects is 98% chance of getting robbed, killed, or, you know, beat real bad. Right. Mm -hmm. But that 2% that I get laid <laughs> was good enough. Damn. What I want. Did you get, the, did you get laid? No, I, I end up running out. <laughs> because, you know, that project is dangerous. But we do. Every man should have a story of about to get killed for dawn. Yeah, you got to roll the dice at least once. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's all you have. I mean, the amount of bars I went into Mexico drunk going, are there whores here? You know, and just <laughs> getting chased out. Oh, you took geez. a shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've done man. some stupid shit, man. Jesus. The Christ. amount of drinking and driving alone I've done to chase some clam. <laughs> it's <Hey>. bananas. <laughs> but you know what's cool about cops? Sometimes they'll get pulled over, and I'm like, I'm going to meet a girl. I'm so horny. And he's like, get out of here. Keep going. They get it. <laughs> then a black guy tells him the same story. He's like, get out of that car, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's funny as hell. I'm trying to get laid, man. All right, go ahead. Go yeah. Ahead. That should be a breathalyzer for pussy. Like, I just ate out a girl. All right, all right. I smell it. Yeah, how horny you are. Yeah, it's a That's horny a breathalyzer. breathalyzer. 
<laughs> I blew a two point eight and a guy. Yeah, that that actually <laughs> it's true. You should get if you can blow pussy. Yes. In your eyes are, that's you, that should get you off because they know you're on your way home. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, what was I going to do? Stay? I just met this chick. I had to get home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm fucking hammered. I don't know right. where the fuck she lives. Yeah. Good yeah. point. I'm yeah. sorry about the schoolyard. I'm going straight home. Uh, <laughs> school's out of session. I'm sure I drove oh, to the dude, playground. Oh, dude, the shit on the road, dude. The, the girls that, when I was a younger comic, that I went back to places with. Oh, I, yeah. Dude, I went, to a tra- I went to a trailer once. Did coke with some chick till like five a.m. There was a bunch of dudes that were just there, and they ended up being cool. But it's that's like, the weirdest. What the fuck, man? Like it's, uh, just, it's like dumb. Like it's like it's you, dumb. You, been... did, you did meth? No coke. Oh coke, oh. meth. Well, I don't know. <laughs> a trailer. That's... No meth is a drug. I don't. I know, but coke sounds expensive for a trailer. Their life is not. Well, that was dumb too. Yeah. She's just like, I have coke. Do you want to do it? I was like, Yeah, sure. <laughs> like it's Damn. just stupid, dude. Yeah. Is this a holiday edition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we just dress like this on a Tuesday. Because <laughs> I just got out of my stupid Uber, and he's playing Christmas music the whole fucking time. Because it's Christmas time, asshole. Not right now. When, no, when do you want him to start playing the music? It was, it was really annoying. What song was it? I have a holly jolly. <laughs> like, oh. It's Christmas time. It's December. It's December 8th or whatever. It's Sixth? the 8th. I mean. Well, when Keith took a Viagra, his heart grew three times its size. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Driving a pussy. Sorry. Yeah. I'm still reminiscing. I'm married, so I got to think. Sometimes I'll lay in bed at night and I can't sleep and I'll just think of all the vagina. <laughs> Dad, is, like is that weird? Plums, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, that guy. I remember that time. Yeah, there's just being. We went to uh, Brazil. Everybody know about that story. You, but... Patrice Norton. Yeah, thanks Norton, to Kevin Norma. Brennan, we all know about. It. Oh yeah. Who <laughs> is you, Patrice <laughs> Norton? Who else? Norton, um, Robert Kelly. Ooh, baby. And you know we. That's the that's the heart of danger. Right. <laughs> and that and Brazil. Yeah. No, that that was insane to me that you guys would go down there, and then just the the, the chances of AIDS and everything. <laughs> hey, take take all the disease parts off the table. What AIDS? Huh? I did my bit. I, my my dick has been on so many tours of duty. <laughs> You know, it served me well. <laughs> me and Giannis, me and Giannis Black Papas. cock down. Sorry. <laughs> me and Giannis Papas used to call each other because all the pamphlets say two to 22 days for any VD. Two to twenty-two days. Two to twenty-two days. So we would we would always laugh when we call each other and go, "Wow, oh, dude, I'm on a two to twenty-two right now." <laughs> <laughs> you know. So Giannis started going. I call him and I go, "Hey, dude," and he goes, "Oh shit, what you doing a bid? You doing a bid right now?" I'm like, "I'm doing a bid," and then finally I started calling him. I go, "I go, bro, I don't know how to live on the outside anymore. <laughs> I stay I stay locked up at this point, dude." You, it's just, you ever get any um, STDs? No clap, no gun. None. Nothing? None. What? None what? Yet. None yet. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what the future holds, but no, not I yet. I got four chlamydias. Four. Yeah, four. Wow. We talking this calendar year? No, no. Oh. no. Way back when. How okay. fast after you banged did the chlamydia kick in? Oh, you, you wait. <laughs> Are you waiting right now? <laughs> <laughs> I might be on a stint right now. <laughs> oh boy! No, no, seriously, though, I'm just curious because I never, I never, never happened. Like, so. well, you get that burn when he, when you pee and a burn. But what I'm saying, you how got, long after though would it kick in? It can kick in two days, one. Day. Do you have when you get it? Do you, does it hit you immediately? Like it was this girl. I know who did it. Like that's why I know. I was yeah. doing so much. Me and my girlfriend. <laughs> I think she had it from somebody else. Oh. And I ain't so we didn't know. We just looked at each other like, all right, whatever. Wow. Because she could have gave it to me. I could have gave it to her. It's like an STD, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who done it? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So, wait, you had four. four is chlamydia four the clap? Four chlamydia. Or is yeah. gonorrhea the clap? Chlamydia. Four. Uh, four, four claps. Four Ghanis. It sounds like a Christmas carol. Four <laughs> clapperia. One, <laughs> One what was HPV. <laughs> Ghani or clap? I think gonorrhea. Because sometimes it takes a while. Is like gonorrhea that. painful? Yes. I've never yeah. had that one. I heard there's a discharge. Yeah, nice little. Sounds nice. gross. 
pus yeah. shooting out. No. I was shaving with it. It was so much coming out. <laughs> have you had have you gotten burned? HPV, but it was I had an outbreak, but it's gone. I mean it's you can get it zapped off. But yeah, years ago. Oh so. damn. The war But that's not yeah. really yeah. Everyone don't, has HPV. I don't, that's the true. Streets, we don't count that as. Thank you. That's some, you know, bullshit. Never, yeah. The only one I ever had was the, um, it's like the wart. I think we talked about this on, on Tuesdays. The wart thing, it's not HPV, but there's like a there's like a wart thing that you get, like kids get it a lot, mm. and then you can get it just from contact. And, but it's it's not even counted as an like STD. Like phylum molluscum or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I got that too. Oh, that doesn't hold count. Up. That, I just that sounds too. like an excuse you give your girl. No, everybody gets it. You, you know. No, I'm. I, I, I would. I would be honest. I would be honest. But I'm dead serious. The, the no, when I was doctor like 18, that I got treated that one. said, she said this isn't even categorized yeah. where you have to tell somebody about it. No, it's like a fungus. <laughs> He's a cool doctor. Yeah. <laughs> it was a chick. It was a chick doctor. So uh, I was like, all right, she, you know, it's a chick, so it's got to be okay. Like, I hate women doctors. They get so preachy. Mm. And Philadelphia had the free clinic, so we went in there, you know. <laughs> And they have certain sections, like for STD, yeah, and some for like you know other regular shit. Right. I tried to send the regular shit one. They said, "What do you got, sir?" Um, I said, "Get your ass over here." You, know? <laughs> you got to go through the corner yeah, with the rest of the degenerates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Molluscum is, is not, I mean, I got that from a fucking towel. I was living in Phil. That's, that's what she yeah. was saying. She was like, this could be from a lot of different things. Yeah. Well, what what was that? You can, It's called, like, I think it's phylum molluscum. It's like a nothing, it's a whatever. Did your you girlfriend get, buy that when you told her that? You get it. I was, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It, <laughs> it was a towel. <laughs> yeah. You got to get it burnt <laughs> off. But, but like, they. that's Whoa. why they were saying, they were saying it's common amongst kids a lot because it's so transmittable and they're like yeah. you could get this from anything yeah it's not an std like well, or, or you might have gotten it from sex but we it's that's a that's a pussy disease i didn't that's what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. i never had any real hardcore you know you should have i would again christ plankton from water column jesus christ yeah though this the craziest is uh i thought i had aids you know your brain just goes crazy places yeah. when you got something going on downtown and i went to the doctor i was like i got aids i know it and he goes are you gay and I go, no. And he goes, do you use needles? And I go, no. And he goes, you're fine. That was a medical professional. Told me oh, that. wow. You, you, Magic Johnson's doctor said the same thing. <laughs> Didn't you get that crazy? You had something fucked H. up. H. Pylori. I had H. Pylori. You get that from eating ass. So watch out there, Keith. This sucks. Uh, disgusting. <laughs> come on. I know. You know how much ass I ate. Yeah. <laughs> Listen hey, to this. What he got from it. This, this almost so scared me out what? of what? I'm a man, I told you. That's not a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> That's fecal matter. Why do you think I can't talk now? <laughs> <laughs> That's from eating ass. That's hey, not from Viagra. Hey, hey. How, does Viagra <laughs> how does Viagra give you a stroke? Is it high blood pressure? I guess being on an airplane, probably. <laughs> But they recommend that you don't take it while on the plane. Uh, I didn't read that before. I didn't know that either. Yeah. And by the way, taking it to get ready, you got the Uber ride. You had a, you had a lot of time. To no. Take it. When the pilot made announced twenty minutes left the flight, ten minutes <coughs> to the girl's house. Total thirty minutes. That's how long it take for a bag where to kick in. So you didn't think that from the moment you stepped off the plane. It would be possibly a full thirty minutes before no. you were inside. When of this I stepped out of the plane, I got you know got off the plane, went to the Uber. The Uber there was ten minutes to a house. I know. I'm saying you don't walk so in I and wanna, immediately I insert yourself. I want to knock on our door with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> nice and hard. <laughs> I, <laughs> all right. I guess so. I don't know. I thought maybe you have a glass of water or something. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and maybe I'm cool. Keith is in the cellar like every night. Too. It's make, it does make me feel guilty as hell when I cancel with a hangover and he's fucking walking in like this. Yeah, and there's and a lot of stairs. Right now, Keith makes me feel like I don't work hard enough. Well, we should make you feel that way too. No, you guys are stupid. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy just doesn't want to be home. I mean, yeah, what, yeah. What, what are we talking about here? Guilty. <laughs> true, true. Not wrong. Um, no, Keith, I actually I was saying this to Dante the other Dante near the other day. I was like, Keith's resolve is is truly inspiring. Like yeah. you, 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 you. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Good. Good. That's what I wanted. You know, this guy bugs me right there. 
Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It just bugged me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> is it the face? Ian the Finance. He reminds me of Ian Finance. I can see it. I'll take it. You don't. You don't like Ian. And I no, right. Ian. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Sal Cruz looks like Ron Jeremy after prison. <laughs> <laughs> show those court photos of him and they're like he's got dementia now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I go with that Ron Jeremy yeah. <laughs> now I like him I like you now hey you're back <laughs> Man, it's all it took. you've been initiated I guess you don't want a cocktail no pressure a sweet wine do you have any wine we can do that. No problem. Ooh. Not a sweet wine, but a wine, a good wine. You red? A, a swirl, as, as Keith calls yeah, it. Yes, a nice Can swirl. I do another? Are you guys having a second? I'll do another. Yeah, yeah. Should we do another rum? Or I, do, are you, I want to try the apple thing, too. I'll do the rum. Could I have a like, whiskey, not sweet, though? Just like a straight up and down? Gotcha. You know, mm -hmm. maybe a little something in it, but nothing. Give him a sugar. Bodega Cat uh, on the rocks. Oh, guys, BodegaCatWhiskey.com. Is, is Bodega yeah. Cat rye? Yes. Yeah. yes I don't, I'm not. You're not a rye guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Bodega Cat, but Thank I'm not a rug. I won't be able to drink it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I, I, I wanted to ask more about that. Um, H. pylori? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I was uh, This I was, is a fucking horror what story. What did it affect? What crazy, happened? crazy effects. Uh, you get it from eating ass. It's fecal matter you ingest. I was shit in water. My tongue was sheet white. <laughs> I had a distended belly, like a, like those African kids what? in the commercial. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't get it up. I was peeing foam. I had all kinds of stuff. It just felt horrible. I was tired all day. That's awful. Yeah, I was puffy. I got bloated. Pull up a picture of me at my Comedy Central Presents. That was eight. I think you were oh! We're all adults now. It's time to ditch the old paper posters you have hanging on the walls with scotch tape. Keep your fun sense of style, but level things up with Displate. Displates are solid metal posters that you can install in just a few seconds. They come with a magnet that you stick to the wall, and then Displate sticks to the magnet. Insanely simple. Uh, I mean, they have all these great kinds, too, right? You've seen this, like, they have, like, Back to School and stuff. Yeah. Like, great movies. All these old movies, Vertigo, and uh, all these old cool Hitchcock, I got Taxi Driver. Do you have that one? I do, yeah. That's sick. It's a beauty. Right in front of the taxi, very New York dark Gritty. I use that as a tour poster. It's a great poster. Oh yeah, that's right. With such easy, with such an easy mounting system, you can switch your display out whenever you feel like changing up your artwork. Choose from tons of officially licensed designs from popular movies, like we said, Star Wars, Marvel, Stranger Things. Check out their cool landscapes, uh, man cave designs, and even maps of your favorite cities. Whatever you're into, Display has a metal poster to show it off. Save up to thirty percent off when you click the link in the show's notes. Discount will be automatically applied to your cart when you click the link or use the code DRUNK when you visit Displate.com. That's Displate.com, code DRUNK, or click the link in our show notes. Oh, yeah. Hey, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Aura. The holidays are all about connecting with loved ones, and there's no better way to do that than with a digital picture frame from Aura. Wirecutter called it the best digital photo frame, and it's easy to see why. You can upload your favorite pics of the family, to one frame and relive all those happy moments again or share big news like a new addition to the family. Love Aura. I mean, who wants one photo? That What are we, Amish? Come on, mix it up, get a screen in there, show the whole ski trip and the, the family and the kids. And if that's, not your per, if that's not personal enough, you can even upload a video message to play on the frame as soon as they plug it in. Oh, that's brilliant. This holiday season, listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com slash drunk. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com slash drunk. Use promo code DRUNK and get 30 bucks off the best-selling frames. Get on it. Happy great, holidays. Great frames. I, I have two of them in my apartment. They're killer. There you go. Oh, Matt, where do, where do we Speaking of eating off? ass, when, get in here. You got to scoot over. Let me ask you Hey, something. Marina. Do you oh, recognize yeah. it's a Christmas miracle? Marina, can we can we uh, get you a cocktail? No oh, pressure, sure. no pressure. Yeah. Hello. I, mean, I don't drink, but what kind of? Oh my God! Look how bloated soda? you are, Mark. That's how fat I was. Sorry, we're in the middle of STD yeah. talk. Mark, Mark got a <laughs> H. pylori from eating butt, and that's <laughs> look what it did to his face. <laughs> look how big I got. It's all just <laughs> fat and like swollenness. So did you did you stop? No. This happened, but, <laughs> this happened to Mark from eating ass, by the way. Yeah. 
How are you, dude? I had to shoot while while all fucked up, but uh, hey, Marina, good to see you. Thanks for coming. Oh, that's good. Mark, didn't you say? Mark, didn't you say you peed foam? Yes. Oh. What? Yeah, because it's a it's a virus. It just goes all through you. And I was what? like, I have AIDS. Do you know which girl did it? Yeah, yeah. Did you call her? No. Well, that's not her fault. Yeah, she, 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 her shit got in his mouth. Oh yeah, that's I was the one fault. with the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's not like an STD. STD. You you just got it from eating poop. Yeah, and, and it was back when I was hot too. Yeah. So I was trying it out. And I just yeah. got out of like an eleven year relationship. So I was going hard. I, when I when I got HPV, I remember thinking uh, like a girl popped into my head because she was too easy. Uh, and you're like, well, she was willing. I remember I was in St. Louis and she DM me after the show. It's like many, many years ago. And she goes, can I uh, can I come to your room? And I was like, sure. I saw the picture. She looked good. And I was like, a girl that was that agreeable. I was like, it's her. Yeah, probably. Missouri and that easy. That's a recipe for fucking disaster. What do you think, Marina? You're a lady. What, how you I just thinking I never get laid in Missouri. <laughs> Really? Or I after shows and stuff like that. Yeah. There's never been an This easy, was Young Hungry Sam on the An road. easy yeah. guy. I never get easy lays. Really? Uh, no, and I've never HPV. I don't have it. Never mm. given it out. You want it? You don't know that, by the way. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't know if you have it. No, I have. Really? I check. You I get check checked right all the time. I think you only it's know called, if you have an outbreak. You go to the pap smear. No, oh. they can they can check women for it. They can't check men for it. Mm. Gives you can't cervical cancer. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Joe. You're Sorry, welcome. I didn't know you knew that. <laughs> yeah, no. It's I feel bad for women because it's like men men carry it all the time and don't know they have it. Right. They don't I don't, come on, I don't feel bad for women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Why is your jacket not warm enough? It's 32 degrees outside. What? Why is your jacket? <laughs> Not warm enough. It's 32 degrees. I got a outside. car. I get my car and, uh, you know. But you took an Uber. Yeah, I got a car, yeah. though. Oh, you got a car. Yeah. All right. So, what do you do for the 43 minutes it takes you to walk from the front oh, door to, yeah. to the Uber? You're going to get sick. You are <laughs> such an asshole. <laughs> he's, he's, he's messing with the handicap. Uh, that's that's right. How do you cool. feel? Good. Great. <laughs> You got an easy out every time. Oh, that's not a red wine. What he the wants hell a red is wine. that? Is that apple? That wine. looks like apple juice. Yeah, orange wine. That's what uh, orange wine is pretty good, right, actually. Let me tell you. I'll try this. Let us try it. I've had that before. It's, it's not bad. It's it's natty, sweet, is that natty shit? It's natural. It's, not, it's, not, it's natural wine, yeah. All right. That's good stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Thoughts? Love it, hate it. Bad Mar uh, Marina would like a drink too, uh, beer yeah, Jew, if that's possible. Do you drink whiskey? No, yeah. I don't drink, but uh, oh, make her a mocktail. We'll make a little Club mock. soda with yeah, maybe like talking. a bullshit. Have you never drank? What? I can't have a club soda. I have a club soda with like maybe like a lemon. Absolutely. Ooh. Thank you. She smokes weed. I smoke a ton of weed, yes. Mm. But I don't drink. I stopped drinking years ago because it wasn't helping my workout <laughs> regimen. Uh -huh. If I like weed, I'd quit drinking. Yeah, same. It's a shame. I don't like weed. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't like it. Fucks either. my head up. I feel like it's better for you. For sure. Way better. Oh, it's definitely better. It helps yeah. me sleep, it, it calms me what? down from my attacks. So you, who's got their own liquor? To, you know, you, yeah. Yeah, they do. Bodega Cat Whiskey. Available online. Have to Bodega get it for the holidays. Bodegacatwhiskey.com. Yeah, grab it in there. Well, Are you guys able to sell this in New York yet? Nope. We're still working on it. We and if help. anyone can help with distribution, please. we got meetings coming up, but Mark and I are pretty incompetent we're in these meetings. We're clueless. We can write yeah. us questions, and we're like, we don't know what those words mean. <laughs> yeah. We had a guy from the, from the from Dallas really big time us. That oh, was embarrassing. It was like, was like well, you guys man. don't know anything. No. I would love to do a big Bodega Cat event at the bar, but we we're not like allowed that. to because you can't. Yeah. Oh, who Who's going to know? You got blow all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> There's blowers come everywhere. Yeah, they're not going to worry about hookers. this. Just, you're fine. Uh, uh, listen, if you guys want to do it, I, I would love to do it, we'll but just, I don't know what the rules we'll, are what for if that distributed. Whiskey cures what you had. Uh, there you go. Right after you... <laughs> There you go. Eat a good ass. Yeah. Then, <laughs> it is a cure-all. It's good for what ails you. But yeah, I had to go to a doctor and get a, a shot. Where did he put the shot? He just shot at me in the ass, but uh, once I got the shot, it was like cleared up in one second. Really? really? Yeah. H. pylori. So you might just take a Benadryl. I tried all that. <laughs> it was <really>? stronger. 
<laughs> this is poo we're talking about. You say Keith. that seriously. Keith is not a good doctor. <laughs> A Benadryl. You got AIDS. Take a Benadryl. <laughs> I take Benadryl all the time just to sleep. It helps. Just to knock myself out. It knocks you out bad, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I broke out with some shit, and they gave me a Benadryl. Well, that's you, for like, allergies, what, like not for... or something? No. <laughs> Benadryl's for allergies. Yes. No, I ate some shit, some food, and um, crab. I ate a crab cake. And my face is all swollen. And yeah, all that's that. an allergic reaction. Yeah, that's reaction. an allergic reaction. No, but I'm saying he may have an allergic reaction. To ass? <laughs> to shit? <laughs> I think we all do. You're not supposed to eat shit. No, which is weird because it's just from food. You know, how did it get from good food to poison? This is like edgy Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> What's Look, the deal shit. with feces? Mark it goes in nightly. one way. <laughs> that is, that that is a bad. good point, though. That it, it's, Thank you. It I is weird point. how it, yeah, that it's that dangerous. Yeah. It's just waste. Well, it's waste, but it came from food that I no, that no, someone I, ate. Yeah, yeah. It's fascinating. It's transitioned into something <laughs> nasty and deadly. Uh, you much... made some trans poop. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. All right. Poop, poop is trans, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Caitlin Shitter. Beautiful. All right, I, I couldn't find the joke. <laughs> that. That's a nice thank drink. You. Oh, thank you, Cheers. Beer Jew. Marina, are you sure? Where do you bartend usually? All over the place. Well, Cheers. let me know if you're looking for some shifts. We're hiring. All right. To, hey, to Keith's go. special, uh, December 19th, Sony December Hall. Make 19th. sure to go to that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. Here's the Keith's special, Keith December 19th. Get tickets for that. It's yeah. going to be a banger. I'm thinking about special needs as the title. Because it's special, <laughs> special <laughs> needs. But yours is pretty I good, too. Like, I, I do like that. Thank you. What's the title? Different Strokes. Oh, oh come on. So that was right there for everybody. That's good. I, you got to go with two, that. I had two strokes, man. That's crazy, Fed Two, man. Two is wild. That's a good title. That's a really good That's title. That's really good. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. Is has there been a stroke special that you might be the Jackie Robinson of strokes? Yeah, the way Ali Wong went, <laughs> Ali Wong went pregnant. He's going to start the stroke thing. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Blue's like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> hey, you know I got like handicapped comics looking at me like, <laughs> like competition. Say, yeah, like, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Well, Sinbad may fuck? be like, oh, Did he, he took all my material. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he okay? He's like, got to like no. learn how to like walk and shit. It sucks. Yeah, I love Sinbad. Oh, no. It's funny as hell, man. Oh, he's, he's so a funny. fucking beast. It's sad, man. He looked like he was in decent shape, too. Like It's like fucked up. Like, yeah. It happens to people. You huh? can't look at a person and say, oh, he's never going to have a stroke. Oh, yeah, it Jamie Foxx. Yeah, yeah that's right. He was ripped. Yeah. So Keith, you're ahead of all. Of I was ripped too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jamie Fox, stop stealing Keith's act, okay? Yeah. So yeah. wait, that's what happened to Jamie. He had a, fo a stroke. They yeah. finally came out and said, "Is he? I don't know. Is he I okay said, now? That's not. Well, it. Seems okay. No, they haven't said it yet. They haven't they said, said anything. Medical emergency is what he said. He's, he, he was said crying he recently though this he week was fucked up. about how he wouldn't want this to happen to Whoa. anyone. Jamie Foxx so. might it might be the most talented entertainer. He's like, up period. there. Like just think of all the shit he can do. He's like. You know. I say it's Eddie Murphy. Yeah. But he can't there. sing. Yeah, he can. Eddie, Eddie can, can sing? Yeah. David Allen oh, yeah. Greer is also up there. Oh, yeah. He's a funny guy. Very underrated, I think, as far as that list goes. But I mean, Eddie not Murphy, as far he, as... He, fucking, he had hit singles in the 80s. Eddie's Andy's really good. Girls. Eddie, it kills me. It True. kills me with Eddie Murphy. He's so talented. I hate that he keeps doing these movies that are, I'm like, come on, dude! Like this Christmas movie that's out. It's like he well, wants to. Be, he wants to be Disney. He's got he's, kids. He's got I'm like, kids. This guy could. My friend put it so well the other day. He goes, he goes. This guy could literally do any. He could do action. He could do drama. He could, and he keeps doing these like not even good family. Movies. And he has a little smile on his face, this like he knows. Well, but yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not giving it to you. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. And oh, then he nice. goes on Kimmel, and he's hilarious. He's like yeah. doing the interview, and I'm like, he's so. Funny still, I thought. If, I thought with the Dolomite movie, I was like, "He's all right. He's back. We're gonna right. get Eddie again." And it was a fun movie too. Yeah, and it was funny. It was great. And then, and then it's just like, ah, he's just. I don't know. It's the problem. I will say, I agree with you, but I don't think he should do stand up. That I would stop. I, uh, uh, I think he'll be funny. See, he was young when he first did it. Yeah, in like eighteen. It's crazy. It's but, going, you know, I he's agree. Twenty one when he did uh, Delirious. Wow. He says oh, yeah. it in the special. He's That's tw crazy. Twenty one or twenty two. That's insane. He's a and then, like twenty eight when they did um Raw. Raw. 
Yeah. Wow. I don't but, even think he was 28, dude. I don't and think what so. What I'm yeah. saying yeah. is that young. Yeah. He has a lot more in him. But is he willing to go out and bomb and work it out? And it's, that's, that's the problem. He's so that's famous. The problem. Can that guy work out? anywhere i don't think so yes. he said that's one of the reasons when he was and hesitant to do it again he said because you can't truly work out because you got to worry that somebody's going to tape it and then you're going to get in trouble and whatever you know what no, rich they... rich famous people do do like in the hamptons they have their little like shindy parties in their homes and stuff he could do something like that because i ended up in one of those no he's got to come to a good place to work out though it's he's... not but it's yeah. like the only situation he could put himself in is like a like like a house party where it's like all the to let them go to the grizzly too. pair <laughs> <laughs> with the with the whatever that's called with the bags the phone bag yonder he could just do that that's yeah. true I mean that's what Chappelle does Chappelle yeah if the comedy store did yonder? that I mean the seller does that yeah but would they give him an honest reaction because they're like Eddie Murphy he can say anything yeah. I think no, after the first few I minutes so. it's gonna right, be yeah honest. first oh, okay. few minutes and they go oh this guy stinks right oh he's good they well, did we... that to Robin Williams when he came to the cellar really they gave him the first like and then you could see Robin was like oh I gotta work whoa I actually saw that trans that circle in his head right you it's... need to lock up his phone when he's around Oh, shit. that's what I've heard. <laughs> but also, he's dead now. Guy <laughs> <laughs> who's taking a shot at a dead comedian. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, I was gonna say not when anymore. When Eddie gets up, when Eddie does shit in front of a live audience, like at his Mark Twain thing, hilarious. And again, like he's just paneling on Kimmel, he's just riffing, and I'm like, he could, st he could do, st he could one thousand percent do stand up. Yeah, he's great at absolutely. On Seinfeld, he was funny, you know, on the on the comedians and cars. Yeah. Oh yeah, he he's still great. has like all the same mechanisms that he had. He said something at an award show that had me <laughs> rolling about the Sydney Fortier. He said that he had his hair was. Oh yeah, <laughs> was I saw that. Home. Right. He didn't comb his hair. Because they didn't have black makeup artists yeah. back then, so they didn't know how to do his hair, so it's all fucked up. But it was hilarious. Yeah. Because he never had his hair combed. Right. Any, any movie, whatever, the Sydney bought his hair was just... <laughs> that was hysterical to notice that. That's very yeah. funny. Yeah. That's very funny. So I, he could do it, but I don't think he loves comedy. Oh. Do you think the same thing goes for Steve Martin? Because I think he's another dude that could be a hilarious. He does. Steve he Martin does to. still kind of do it though. Like when they do, when he does the stuff with Martin Short, Steve Martin still right. does like like his whatever his new ver whatever his current version of stand up is. He will do it. Um, yes. You know when he hosted the Oscars, he did it. Like, I was thinking Eddie was going to host the Oscars, and I was like, okay, we're going to get. And he didn't do it. I think he. I think those first two specials are held in such high regard that <laughs> for who. For just everybody. 48-year-olds? I mean, the young people don't know him. And what do you think about the amount of faggots he dropped? Including him getting caught with the trans woman. Yes. Yeah. I would, that would be my opening 10 minutes. So You ever heard my old shit? This is how it starts. You can't talk like that anymore. And right. I would just do a whole fucking thing. But, dude, the That's guy, interesting. The guy's a, a, a global brand at this point. I think he, in his head, he's like, I did two specials. They're classics. I'm not going to fucking They're tarnish They're not classics them. to me. To you, but I'm saying to the you world. You just said they were great, I'm the judge. No, he he does that. Do. He'll go back and forth with yeah. his no, argument. He didn't do stand-up on SNL. When he hosted SNL, he didn't do stand-up in the monologue. He wouldn't I, do it. No, he did, but he was doing jokes. No, he didn't. He had every black cast member come out. And he, he does not, have that little, he he do does do that little smile like, like I know no, I could. that was on the Mark Twain thing. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Nobody mentions Murphy's special when they go to top special. Yes, they do. I think people I don't know. Do. This is mm. goddamn it, Keith. Oh. This is going to be one of these They always talk gonna... about Raw. No, they don't. Raw especially. They always talk about Raw. Hilarious. Everyone talks about it. I mean, my relationship was broken up by Raw, but that's... Why was it broken up by Raw? Why? I was in high school and we went to the movie theater to see it. Whoa. And I could see, again, the wheels turning. And as he was listening to him talk about women, I saw my boyfriend going, yeah, I don't have to be with you. <laughs> and um we he after that he started dating other because i wasn't giving it up i was a virgin oh, i was like yeah, oh, no, my, well, yeah well, that might i was like in high school i was like in a v club that's pointless <laughs> yeah. i was yeah. very serious virgin back then i was like try, like i was trying to be a good family girl 
My grandfather always Sounds like says, a horrible dating profile, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very serious yeah. virgin. Yeah. Right. I got we a v did. Card. We had a club. We got a V club for Cross Your Legs Across America. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we were like, seriously, like, whoever's... But people started to drop out. Yeah, of course. They're Wait human beings. I'm, That's I'm slut shaming. Stuck on this. Y'all think that <laughs> raw... <laughs> Was a classic. I'm saying it's considered a. I think it's it changed no, 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 no. people's no, 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 no. lives. I have yes. a question for Keith. So I was talking about this with Mark. We're trying to make a Mount Rushmore of comedy. We're going to leave out people pre 1980. Who's on your Mount Rushmore? Pre 1980. Uh, no. Leaving out anybody. So you're out, Keith. I'm um, but uh, anybody before 1980. I'm not running there. I'll go <laughs> prior calling. Pre 1980. No, they were. There was a. Yeah, well, they weren't. You're doing saying their best. they had to start after 1980. Yeah, they weren't doing their best work. No, no, in you're allowed to put you're allowed to put Carlin in prior. No, Carlin did his best work at the, in my opinion, after yeah. 1980. So Cosby, yeah, right. I guess. Always funny. Cosby '83 was himself. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, if you're just talking about skills, like can you Cosby. put Elisa's sweater? <laughs> <laughs> no, I say Carlin, Cosby, prior, prior. What about Bing Crosby? You he said Bing Crosby. No, not Bing Crosby. <laughs> not Bing Crosby. Prior, prior post 80 is not the best prior. The sun, um, 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 live in concert. Live in concert is 78 or something like that. How about Live in the Sunset Strip? Here and now isn't great prior. Hold on, we need one more from uh, the I'm handicap going, guy. Yeah, let the handicap guy stop. Yeah, come on. And I'm going, this is going to piss people off. Sammy Davis. Woody Allen. I knew he was Woo! gonna say that. I love it. That's Woody a great Woody Allen's great, list. but he didn't do stand up after nineteen eighty. Shut your <laughs> mouth. He's also seventy four. Let him have did. this. Well, wait a second. Seven. He didn't follow your rules at all. <laughs> Woody Allen has one stand up album and it's still great. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. It still holds up. Uh, but and guess what? Himself but Cosby, still great. Still Bill Cosby himself is the greatest stand up special. It's of an all incredible time. special. Like two of I your think. two of your Mutt Rushmores could be in jail right now. Yeah. Oh. Allen and Cosby. Well, it won't nah, get. Nah, Alan. Alan went to trial. I I'm, shut up with that. Yeah. Alan went to trial. Shit, <laughs> he did, <laughs> and he was declared innocent. Ah. Who, did it not happen? Who's seen that? What do you mean? Who's he seen was it? in the jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's what happened. he made that show, Jury Duty, on yeah. Amazon. But it's Woody <laughs> Allen. Yeah, yeah right. he's just one of the jurors. Uh, <laughs> uh, Keith didn't follow your rules at all. But I did. You, what I do you feel like he's stand older. up after 1980? He's saying it's got to be post 1980. All right, post 1980. God so you could say Carlin. More. I got Carlin, Carlin Pryor, There's, Cosby. Who's your fourth? Cosby's I mean, after 80. Yeah. Yeah, you could say Cosby. Himself is 83. Right, Pryor did not there. do his best work after 1980. Shut up. That's, uh, who are you to tell? <laughs> you know what? He you know told you what the rule is. Break your fucking glass. Pryor always did great work. <laughs> now, here and now stinks. Here no, Pryor of, was always good. Half of Sunset Strip is good. The other half is like, oh, who cares? It's I got agree. Some, it's got a lot you of know? greatness in it, though. The, the Jim Brown story is incredible. Half of it is great. Yeah. Half of it is who cares. <laughs> okay. And here and now, say, here and now, he's doing jokes about how cold it is in Chicago. I'm still like, going to is, say I, I it like this. Pryor, I want. I still got. You can't. I'm not leaving out Pryor. Yeah, not you can never ever. leave out Pryor ever. Yeah, that's, I, that's fair. Ever. Can we leave you out, Keith? Yeah, I, oh, believe <laughs> me, I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> Who's your fourth? Um, my fourth. He said Allen. Allen. You said Woody Allen. I know. Woody Allen didn't Woody do stand Allen. up after I'm 1980. I'm gonna go. Rock, Chappelle, Bill Burr, Louis. I'm yeah, Dangerfield. Like to, to talk about some mm, newer guys. Good one. I love Dangerfield. Ah. Uh, I'm uh, so do I, but I'm I'm gonna go um, uh, Chappelle. Has to be okay. Chappelle. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. Even lately, you put Chappelle over Rock. <laughs> For specials, no. For comedy, yeah. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Well, Rock had two in the '90s that are to me are unbeatable. Yeah, Bring the Pain and Bigger and Blacker are are nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Three years apart, by Rock the way. Rock is still great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, getting... I am. What, what do you got to no, say nothing. now? I, lo- I have great respect for Chris. I think he's very, yeah, I think he's very good. But, but that's I think what you're about I, to say. This, no. this is where DeRosa goes, I think Chris Rock's uh, work is no, 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 no. And this I'm is not, also. I'm not going to say anything that I wouldn't say about any comedian. Yeah. It's not a disrespectful thing. I think Chris is still a great comic. I think, though, there is a fire you have on the earlier side of things. You just don't have later, 
which is why I would say, you know, do I like anybody's? I don't. I I respect the fuck out of Chappelle. The, yeah. You know. I don't think Dave's newer specials are as good as the earlier ones. Mm. I think you'd say that for most comics. That's what I'm saying. I think you'd say that so for I think most Chris is still a great dude. comic, but I'm just I'm just thinking of the newer specials. I'm like that the fire in those first two and the hunger of like a guy going, I have I have something to fucking prove right now versus a guy going, I I have nothing to lose. I don't care. I've been on the. That's road. a very yeah. different energy. I think you're opinion. right. I think I think there's. Uh, there's a need to like like Kennison's first versus his second, right? Yeah. Kennison's first is amazing, it, and after that, exactly. they're they're almost unwatchable. Well, it's it just I think you have ten years on that first one or whatever, right? Oh, yeah. I love Kennison too. Yeah. I love him, but it's like Kennison fucking. <laughs> you know what? Eat your apple. What about what about there you go. what about Mitch? Hedberg. Head, what are, we love no Hedberg. one's talking about? I, I like Hedberg. Mitch. We're talking about guys passed away. I mean, Bill Hicks. I think like five albums and he's dead at thirty two is pretty Did fucking. He have five? Insane. You said a thing about Bill Hicks though that I, I kind of disagreed with. I saw uh, your Rogan I clip. What was it? It was a very uh absolute absolutist statement that <laughs> anybody that criticizes him is a fucking idiot or oh. something. Along those My thing with Bill Hicks is this I was a big, big Bill Hicks fan until I became about thirty five. Mm. And at that point it, age I respect Bill Hicks and he's an amazing comic. But age reframed what he did for me. And the older I got, the more I started to be like, this feels preachy. It feels condescending. It's very much like, I'm right, you're wrong. And if you don't agree with me, you're a fucking moron. Wow. So you stopped liking him 30 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And it's like it's like Carlin started to teeter into that towards the very end. But like the best parts of Carlin are when, again, you, you watch Carlin. When Carlin got comfortable because he was so fucking famous from in the 70s and he won these Grammys and everything and he starts in the 80s he doesn't care anymore he's comfortable he's doing stuff about peas and all this bullshit and it's boring and then he gets left out of the conversation and he gets hungry again and then mm -hmm. he comes back and does like jamming in New York and back into, and he's doing these they're Amazing. fucking incredible because he gets the fire again and then that all is very successful for him. And then towards the end of his life, he kind of starts to be like... It's bad for you is a good special. That's you know, his, it's so, a good special, but there's a lot in it where it's very much matter of fact. Like, if you don't agree with me, you're fucking wrong and you're stupid. And, and, and like, I don't like when there's Hicks a lot got, of Hicks that does that. I don't that. like when Hicks gets condescending, but I do think, oh, when he gets preachy or pandry, whatever. But like, just in terms of pure jokes, I fucking love his jokes. And, and Natel said something about Hicks to me once where he's like... That guy, the way comics will go to like, you know, they think they're like truth tellers or whatever, and they go to San Francisco and uh, fucking, you know, uh, Austin, right? Hicks was going at like the f reddest part of Alabama and doing this shit. Mm. And he, I respect that. Really? I respect I, it. Yeah. I've seen um, Hicks in the 84, 85. Oh, wow. At the Comedy Factory Outland. Wow, but it wasn't that good. Yeah. Really? Well, he was. How, he must have been a fucking what twenty three or something then. Yeah, oh, really young. Yeah. Are That's there any weird. women that you would put on that? Oh shit! Mm -hmm. I, I I have to speak up for my ladies. Who do you like? Who's yeah? I think I've always funny. liked Wanda. Uh, yeah, Wanda, Wanda Sykes. Her, her, her first one's great. Mom's Mabelly. Um, want Whoopi Goldberg. Bamford's on mine. Bamford's Easily. great. Bamford. Bamford's on mine. Whoopi is a stand. But I think I think of. Uh, well, I know she's more of a solo artist, one right? Woman she's show. Not, does she ever do? I I, also, so. Marsha Warfield is one of my favorites mm. that no one like ever really talks Marcia. about, but I love. Like Marsha Warfield was one that when I saw her doing it, she did it the way that I didn't see other women doing stand up. So I, it was very dry. It was very like it was just very it was jokes. Mm. Well. At, Look at um, look at uh. Just, she didn't do that. I've never heard of her, but do <laughs> you oh, saw Night Court? No, Night Court? Along the lines of what we're talking about, look at Roseanne. Roseanne eh, overrated. Roseanne was fire when she was broke. Twenty minutes of comedy she had. But you see what I'm saying though? Then she, yeah. she gets the sitcom. She was she gets funny, the money, but... and then it's not funny anymore. Well, you she gotta doesn't do the road. Fuck you gotta go out. There needs you gotta to be a little out. desperation. That's why I'm opinion. saying Eddie Murphy could struggle going out there because he's rich and famous, and it's not the same. All right. No, but let yeah. me ask you this: Everybody in here, if you had the type of success Murphy had starting out, would you still be? 
pop an out special. That's no. the question. No. Look at Jim Carrey. Look at all these guys. They're all no. gone. I barely, I barely work at it now. Uh, I got a little podcast money. I was like, you know, fuck this. Uh, Leno, <laughs> Leno is still going. You got That's a good Leno. Question. millions in the do, bank. I do love the road. I do love touring. So I, it's tough. I mean, like, fuck. Adam Sandler's still fucking touring. Uh -huh. you no, know, Chris Rock. But still Adam tours. doesn't do comedy. He does. He does uh -huh. stand up. He does. He's on the road constantly. He opens for him. Is he? Yeah, uh -huh. he does the road constantly. It, same with Rock. Well, that's what's interesting same about a guy. That's what's interesting about a guy like Adam. A comic like Adam versus a comic like Rock. The type of comedy also plays a factor. Adam Sandler can always do Adam Sandler jokes, no matter what kind of money or what, because because it's it's a, it's it's based in silliness. Like that's really at the core is the absurdity of it. Chris is a social commentator, so what he's going to talk about is my favorite parts of that new special was when he talked. Obviously, everybody was excited to hear him talk about the Will thing, but. You saw, like, in my opinion, you saw like a vulnerability come out of him again that I hadn't seen in, mm. in a long time. Well, I was like, called him a bitch. You know, like I was like, Tambourine. Oh, this too, like, though, the divorce. Yeah, yeah, Tambourine. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. but I but guess. when you said um, Adam Sandler, he didn't have that type of success that Murphy had. Right, mm. as a stand-up. Yeah, Murphy. That was a sold out arenas and yeah. all this. He got everything up front. Yeah, biggest movie star. Good point. You're right. It would be that hard. To, it point. would be and and also back then it must have been fucking hard. I mean, you see, uh, Steve Martin's got the quote: "I quit because of the Friday Late Show." Right? Oh, I love that quote. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the best. I think and that, I, and then he started Friday playing Late music. Show. Yeah. He plays his little uh, banjo. I did Prairie Home Companion with Steve. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Um, I took a photo. He, he was very nice. I took a photo with him. The person who was taking the photo took too long, and he was like, take the picture. Because uh. they were just like taking too long. But he was, he didn't do any jokes. He was completely into music. Did he take the V card? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> but. That's amazing. You guys are forgetting. What? What's going on with all these comics you're naming? Not one clean. Except for Cosby. What about the Regans, the Gaffigans, the Seinfelds, the the other guy? I'll well, Cosby it. was clean. Cla Cosby was the only one you named. Clean. I'll name somebody who's not clean who's on my current top five. Cat Williams. I think Cat oh, Williams is a fucking beast. So funny. I that motherfucker makes Cat Williams makes me laugh like from my gut. Yeah, in a way yeah. That, like I'm like, I, and for as successful as he is, and as can. I'm just, I'm like, this fucking guy just keeps cranking him out. No, he's like, great. God damn. This one, this special. Yeah. That's his best special. Yeah. Also, don't forget Norm MacDonald. Honorable mention. <laughs> Literally eight seconds in, we're all laughing. Yeah. And he just looks so, he's four foot one. He's got a funny hair. Yeah, he's got a perm. <laughs> Trouble. Now he be surrounded by Muslims and shit. Michael, you ain't no motherfucking Muslim. You can't even be a Muslim. You got a white woman park face. How do you know that? Pork face. <laughs> 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 you make someone laugh so hard they're holding yeah. their chest. Like, <laughs> Oh, I've never he's, done that. he's pretty good, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's fun about him is he's in a packed theater of his fans, and he's still delivering it like he's in a hell gig. Yeah. He's just sweating, and he's bringing the heat. He's yelling. Do, do you see anyone early on, Keith, where you're like, this dude's not funny, and then like years later, you're like, that dude's pretty fucking funny? Um, <laughs> Mark, <say> Mark <laughs> is like, right here. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean... Because I know comedy takes time. Yeah. So you have to be patient. I, but I've seen people who I said wasn't funny and remain not funny. <laughs> Why'd you stare? You kind of stared at me like. Uh -oh. I felt like you locked in. No, no, no. <laughs> name names. I'm not going to name names. Dude, when I, when I auditioned at the comic strip, they did a fucking American Idol type of. Uh, uh. First, you two had my back. 
I don't know if you Oh, that's that right. Shit. I was there. But I yeah. remember uh, the fucking Booker at the time tried to be Simon Cowell, and they were like videotaping it. Uh, so he's like just oh, yeah. negging me. And uh, and he's like, oh, I've seen that five minutes before. I killed. Oh, like, I remember and, that. And Marina comes in drunk, like, fuck you. That's not fair. Like, and All right. Marina, Marina had my back. Oh, I did. I was you did. out of control. You were furious and drunk and on my side. <laughs> and they made me come back the next week, though. You got to do a different five and audition again. He was just trying to, like, they were trying to tape Who it. Who was the booker it. at the time? JR. Oh, yeah. oh, I Fuck was. I was so drunk. So then Fuck I come back the next shit. week, and and the judge, one of the judges, was Keith. <sighs> Keith, go, Keith, like was one of the judges that passed me through. Hey. And then in my cellar audition, Keith was at the uh, at the table. I remember uh, I was fucking nervous as shit because it's like. I don't know, yeah. 2011, I'm sure. terrified. Sure. And and Keith just looked at me in front of everyone. He goes, look how scared he is. <laughs> and everyone laughed. <laughs> I got a wish. huge pop. I was like, fuck. I, I saw know. Marina once. Marina did a thing. You did a thing at the, at the strip. I always hated the fucking strip. I love this. Oh, show. I love the like performing it. there. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I, 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 I really, I'm not a fan. But anyway, <laughs> uh, they, uh, you, you did a thing one night. You, you went in. And the show was late. We both had spots on like the late show, and you went in, and the show was late, and you just left. Whoa! And I called you, and I was like, "Where'd you go?" And you're like, "The fucking show is 45 minutes late, and I'm not doing this." <laughs> and you just went home, and I was like, "Holy shit, you oh. can do that? You can just be like, <laughs> no, go fuck yourself. I was early be stages. A real bitch sometimes. That was the, <laughs> I respected the hell out of it. I loved. It. I was like, yeah, because because that was that was one of the reasons I didn't like the club. That was one of those clubs when it was late." They wouldn't be like, yo, sorry, we're late. It was very much like, tough shit. It's right. the strip. Adam Sandler performed here 48 years ago. Okay, great, guys. Wow. You know, and I've heard that story that you've told about you, about, I heard, I heard it about Pete Davidson. I've heard it. They, I just felt like they, they, they did a lot. They of shit really to smelled their own shit in that place. Yeah. And well, to, to be fair, club, and I had some of the best nights of my life there. I also had some of the worst fucking. Nights. I, I think though, to be fair to Jr., yeah. um, just a little. I do like Jr. And the thing is, is I think he didn't understand the seriousness and the gravity of what he was doing. He was just having fun, and I know. I remember that night. I was just angry that he didn't understand how important this was. For you guys, yeah. So that's why I was like, no, no, no he was we're being not doing a dick. This. He was being a dick. Well, he was there also. He was a bully. There's no room for he any of that bully. shit. There's no room for a booker to fucking do that. To they people, all period. do it. They no, they do don't it. all do that. No, they don't. But you know what? Yeah, they no, do. they don't. No, the, they don't. End of the day, though, it did fucking prepare me for the business. Like that, that, that mean, type S of shittiness. At, where you're like, sure. SD at the cellar can be can be coarse. And candid, but she don't do shit like that. That's no, true. she would never be like. But but well, that's, that's what. Bullshit, well, Jr. Man. was not really Everybody supposed hates to be the booker. One booker. <laughs> 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 one booker. I'll never. Everybody. I, read, I read an interview right. with Chris Rock once when Lucian at from the comic strip passed away, and and in the thing, Rock said. Well, he passed this person instead of me. And I was like, that never goes away. No. <laughs> no, never no goes see, away. I never mind. Well, no, look, you're Lucian not like that. Lucian just told me, he said, look, Kim, you used to be funny. Now you're just fat and jolly. <laughs> 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 jolly? Has he met you? What the fuck? But he's never that held that. Uh, you never held that no, against I him. No, I don't. Because I'm and, like, all right, and what I'm enough. saying, And what I'm saying is, is that's harsh. But it was a real criticism that he felt at the time. It might not be tactful. He had to call me fat and I'm jolly. saying, though, but you know, see what I'm saying? What JR did to you, a booker has no fucking jolly. place doing that. He deserved it. Uh, right. He was yeah, cocky. You know, you're all right. I like JR. <laughs> JR <-R> really. <laughs> I don't know why anyone, but it's funny or not funny. What do fat and jolly have to do with comedy? I know. I know. <laughs> but, you know, Noam had asked me once what makes a booker like a good like what makes someone know and become a booker and i go well and why do you comics go to i go we go to whoever because we know that the person who's sweeping up the room could eventually be the booker right and that was jr yeah so jr didn't he knew he didn't know right. JR. he was just playing the role yes. and then it, yeah, and then yeah, it was off. And a lot of <laughs> he stuck at being a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> he's bartending again now, by the way. Where? He's back. At, at the strip. Oh really? He's yeah. behind the bar. I'm gonna go get a drink oh, and not did? tip. People hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Four Heineken. Thanks. Yeah. I don't they like that. Hated he passed me. 
<laughs> they used to have free drinks there. Remember I that? It was them. free uh, drinks. And, and that was uh, R.I.P. Vic Henley. Every no. he was a job. Oh, he, he was he mean was, to you, young guys. I like no. Vic. Oh, I got along. I like Vic. Vic a lot. Some actually. people he didn't like. Well, I liked his right, energy Vic. every night. Two shots of Patron. Yep. Every night, just drunk as shit at the bar, cracking me I up. I love oh, Vic. Yeah. yeah, Vic. Vic. I miss Vic. He was a good hang. Yeah. There's very few people I didn't like. Yeah. It was a well, good, there's a, a lot that don't like you, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Except you. <laughs> no, Vic, Vic used to always put my ex-boyfriend in check, though. He goes, you're not as funny as her, and you should know it. Oh, wow. He would always oh, do that, hilarious. so that's why I... That's pretty funny. Yeah, he was like, wow. and you're not as funny as her. Damn. Stop. Yeah. Why are you like that? Well, yeah, it was nice that he put him in his place for me. He cucked him. <laughs> How did, uh, what did Vic die from, a heart attack? I don't know. It's something, some sort of leg thing, like a clot or something in his leg. Oh, like aneurysm. He, he got hit by a car, I think. What? When he was drunk, and then, uh, oh yeah. shit! Oh, R.I.P. Vic. I heard Jr. killed him. Jr. <laughs> Damn. He Lu- made three comics. Judge is killing too. <laughs> Lucian told me when I auditioned for Lucian. Lucian took me in the office, and he goes, he goes, I close my eyes, I hear Big J, <laughs> and he goes, and look at what you're wearing. Clearly, you don't care about your appearance. <laughs> They did that, that to me it. at the comic book. Bob me. Wax did that to me. He goes, you're dressed like shit. He's like, wear a fucking polo shirt, for God's sake. <laughs> Damn. It's like, dude, you Lucian, broke. Lucian yeah. told me, he was like, well, I can uh, sort of believe that you have the continent of Africa on the top of your head. Um, <laughs> but it seems... I should have been a comic. He goes, yeah, you right. do a good British act. I think I can place the area from... Britain or England where you're doing it and if I did hire you I could kill like two birds with you know one stone (laughs) so I was like (laughs) he was great for those little moments no I I love Lucian he was you know he was a funny comedy seller I mean a comedy comic strip went down after he passed interesting you need a good booker. It's like it really is. It needs somebody yeah, who gives a shit. It well, means, it means the hang is good. Loves it comedy. Is good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Lucian loved comedy. Yes. More yeah. than his family. Even I remember even as he was passing away, I would go to his house and take care of his cats and stuff. And he was like, I could give this to my family, but they're not worth it. <laughs> and he just, he, but he loved comedy. He wanted to be around it all the time. Wow. He had this smile. Just seeing people do well. There he is. Lucian. That's Never, very yeah, 80s. I, I started there, I think, right after he passed. I thought it was Freddie Mercury. Oh, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, my first week at the cellar, I was terrified. And Keith, you were hosting, believe it or not. Uh. This is how long ago this was. And you brought me up as Jerry Seinfeld. The crowd <laughs> went nuts. They're all going crazy. And you go, I'm just kidding. It's this guy. And I fucking ate it. What the fuck it. is the matter with you, man? <laughs> the fuck is the matter with you? No. What uh, is the matter with you? Well, somebody else. <laughs> some of a star probably stopped in. I brought him up. And then once, once like say Dave Chappelle, and then if somebody and they, they're waiting for somebody else, right? And like, I, right, you so know, we got greedy. We got more, yeah. Uh, you got more. That's why I did it. <laughs> I, I thought it was it like better. a lesson. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay. It's not like what you used to do. We used to host. You used to end on this one joke, and you never considered the fact that I was next. Oh, uh, here we go. When you would go, women fuck up fun all the time. <laughs> Men, we laugh. Women, you fuck up fun. Your next comic coming to the stage, <laughs> <laughs> Marina. Oh. And I would go, uh, I was too young to address it, but you, right. you didn't know. But it was like you could see uh, them going, huh? Oh, women gonna... do fuck up fun. <laughs> <laughs> I remember bringing my dad to the cellar one night, and I, and I don't know if I've ever seen him laugh quite as hard as when Keith was hosting Marina gets off stage and he goes, I used to date her and she wears granny panties. He said, <laughs> no, he used to say, I, she wore the worst panties. <laughs> Picard. Worst. She used to have a bucket of panties in the middle of the room. Oh, and she just pick one panties. out. And then I'd have to go on after that and have to explain it. So then I'd have to talk about my panties. And uh, <laughs> and I made a whole bit about my, I tried to take my power back by talking yeah. about my own panties. Right, right. Like the N word. <laughs> oh, he man. would stand in the doorway when I was you would stand in the doorway when I was on stage at the cellar and just go. <laughs> yes. 
I feel like we're talking about Keith like he's dead. I know. <laughs> he's right here. I'm here, guys. Yeah. Well, Keith, has gotten, Keith has gotten Keith has gotten soft. Keith has gotten soft. Whoa. Yeah, two strokes. You think? That's what I, was, <laughs> I was about to say the strokes made you soft. Yes. That's it. That's I can barely talk. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> he can barely talk, and he's putting out more There's specials than you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I remember I called you when you were in the hospital, and or, or, uh, your your uh, your son's mom called me. Uh. You're in the hospital. She goes, she goes, hi, Joe. I'm just calling because I'm here with Keith, and he's co. <laughs> she goes, he's coherent. He can't speak, but he would love to just hear your voice. And I go, okay, cool. And she put me on speakerphone. I go, can he hear me? And she goes, yes. And I go, I'm glad you can't talk. <laughs> Sit there and shut your fucking mouth for once. You know? <laughs> was she horrified or did she get it? Uh, she laughed. And he, like, right. and he was like going like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing when I could talk, the nurse, was, the speech pathologist was in there. She said, well, you know, you got to practice your words. Say them over and over again. I said, I got it. Let me make a call. And I called Robert Kelly. He said, hey, what's up, dude? I'm like, Bob's a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's a fat fuck. And, and like, it got better that, after man. that, too. Uh, it worked. Yeah, it got better. Liz yeah. said you, Liz said you, because you said to her, Marina is a cunt. <laughs> Because Marina took over. No, uh, the she, I only did what the family, everyone was said I was in control. Marina came, became Lucian and JR. <laughs> and she was booking my, my hospital I calls. was like, you can't just leave them alone right now. But I was also like going by what your baby's mom was saying. Don't call her baby mom. Children's mother. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, no the 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 because you said when you had the first stroke I remember. I said how did you I said how did you get your because he drove himself to the hospital as the stroke was happening and I go how did you do it he goes I summoned all my evil. <laughs> <laughs> but the bounce back because both strokes I I talked to you like pretty early on after it happened through recovery, and like. Your bounce back to who you are truly at your core. Evil. Yes. <laughs> it was so instantaneous. The like, first show was fast. But I'm saying you, even at your in your most incapacitated state during either stroke, you still like thought it was funny if we trashed you about it. Like like you that's to. what I mean, your resolve. It's it's incredible to me that like you you kept like your sense of humor through all of it. Yeah, like, yeah. like there was never a part of you where you were like, No, dude, like I I'm not in a headspace for that kind of humor now. Like you were you, yeah. you're, you're yourself constantly. That would make me sick. If I've said that, that would make me so Wow. It, can you well, it would have been the, understandable, though. Was, I'm yeah. not in my head. Uh, no. yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, it would not have been like crazy if you had right. would have been like, okay. But, can you imagine Keith fun. being like, I'm triggered right now. Nah. <laughs> this is really <laughs> offensive. Well, that's why he's the real deal, because every comic in Brooklyn would make this a one-person show, and they would milk the shit out of it, and they would have a whole special about how sad it is. You're going to go up there and talk about pussy. You know? <laughs> I that assume is that is true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Keith would have live tweeted his tragic journey and all this shit, and you know, right. And there would have been article. Please, I've asked you this before. Please interview me for the part where you you interview comics in your special. We have to talk about how great you are and how good it's to see you back yes. on your feet. Please interview You're me for that. You're the first person I want to talk to <laughs> about my magnificence. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, this is real shit. I realized, like, through school and all that, I don't know how you guys was in school, but I was an asshole all through school, elementary, right. junior high. I picked on so many people. It's like, oh, fuck. I seen a video of this girl introducing me. You know, she said this guy picked on me. She was a, um, a D DJ. She is a DJ. And um, Philadelphia, WDS. Mm. But I picked on her so much in school. She introduced me a while back. I seen a video of it. Uh, and she said, this guy messed with me and said I, my, I was fat and this and that. And he's a horrible comic. 
Keith Robinson. Oh, oh shit. But I realized how many people I fuck with in school. <laughs> yeah. And I thought I was a good guy. Oh, <laughs> God. Because I never, you know, felt any, you know, but I'm like, guys who I said was gay and all this, they all turned out to be gay. But and just <laughs> hey, you're a fortune teller. Yeah, no, but we were trying to steer him in the right direction. We yeah. were trying to help. <laughs> <But> <laughs> the fuck? He goes, now they all turned out to be gay, but <laughs> <laughs> But I was in second grade, I yeah, didn't know. That's different. You know? All what right. I'm saying is just like Tell the Ralph Harris story when Ralph Harris first started doing comedy and why his family hates you. Ooh, oh, here we well, go. <laughs> how it started, like I started 84, he started 85. And he said, what, I, what do I do to make it in this business and do what I need to do? I said, well, get yourself some knee fats. All right? And I just left it at that. This dumbass brought himself knee fats. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then they, people told him what it was. At the store. They and, laughed. And his whole family was mad at me. That's nothing. It was just because, you know, he get to blow people. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like but he was, his family tried to trip me and all that. Whoa. Yeah, they. Well, because when he went to get the knee pads, I think at the store, right? The guy yeah. behind the counter, he said, why are you getting, he, or he told him he was getting, because he was starting comedy and the guy just started laughing. Oh my <laughs> God. Because he, he understood, he understood <laughs> more hilarious. than Ralph did. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is that, hilarious. Come on. But you do do that to people. Later? Yeah, now he talks. Now about, he does, right, but buddy. he still has a little bit of a, even, you know. Come Patrice on. used to say that. He goes, everyone thinks Keith is sweet. <laughs> no, do we? And then Patrice is like, and I get it. Yeah, Patrice got it because he had a bigger mouth. Yes. Right, I, right. I, I whispered something to him. And he was Sent him out. I miss the, because um, <clears throat> we used to go. I don't think, you, I don't know if you guys, you guys probably never went. But I miss the Patrice barbecues. Those were like, you know. I heard about them. It was, it was just like the most legendary like trashings from the second you showed up to the second you left i mean it was so remember when ramon harris came and he he had a hat on he took it off and he had a mohawk that was dyed blonde we kept calling him demolition man <laughs> and like he like eventually like wait like he like went and sat in like the corner like, oh. <laughs> and the way that's he, the thing you guys missed yeah the, it, the back table trash yeah I, we showed up after why do you think that went away because so Patrice yeah. died. That's why. Patrice fine. died, you know. Yeah. I had a couple of strokes. <laughs> but it also, too, the culture changed. Yeah. It was like it just became a thing where, like, it was like the, the, as, as the mainstream form of comedy started to become less the cool form and the cooler version of it was – the, the Brooklyn thing was seeping more into the mainstream. The idea of – hazing just became un, sort of uncouth. Yeah, yeah, I tried it, and, and the being generation by, would start crying. Well, they being would... hazed by, <laughs> by, your, by comedians who you liked was different than being hazed to me by like a booker who you didn't give a fuck about, you know? Yeah, that's a different thing. But, no, uh, yes, but it was, it, was, it was... I remember when I first moved here, I lived with Okerson. I remember, like, I, again, Keith... Keith and Bob, I owe. I, I, I'm not being maudlin. I, I really, I owe so much to Keith, to Bobby. I helped you. To Maria. I was about to say you, you fucking insecure ass. <laughs> Let me get to you. God damn it. <laughs> to Marina, um, like they, they. I remember I was in Jay in the apartment that Jay and I lived in, and I was so depressed, and I was like, they, all these guys make fun of me and whatever. Oh, so it did get to you. It did. And and he called Keith. And Keith's like, we do it because we like you, stupid. And he named like four comics. And he goes, you ever hear us talk about them? And I go, no. And he goes, exactly. Oh. We like you, dummy. We see talent. You right, know? Like, right. And, and, and it was, if, if there was a mark of acceptance, if you got trashed. So as much as it sucked... Walking into like that murderer's row of which it truly I hate that expression, but it truly was. It was like you would go into the cellar. It was DePaulo, Keith, Judy, Geraldo. Burr, Geraldo, uh, uh, Patrice, it, Norton, Colin. 
Well, no. And it was like you would just get fucking eviscerated. But like I'm if saying, your shirt sucked, it, whatever, whatever. Some it was. of them wasn't messing with people like that. It was me, Patrice, Voss. Voss. Norton. Yep. Robert Kelly wasn't messing with people. Like Bobby used to trash me constantly. He was handsome Bob. When Bob was handsome Bob, nothing. I met him at the beginning of Chunky. Yeah, Fat Bob. <laughs> beginning of Chunky. Fat Bob was funnier than Thin Bob. Uh, yeah, I feel like fatter is always funny. Always. Yeah. yeah, I miss Fat Bob. Yeah, Fat and Jolly. I don't know about this Bob. Uh, I'm, glad Bob. He's, I'm glad he's not This Bob funny. is trying Dude, to be the sex- bottom, He looks like Brando in Apocalypse Now. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, <laughs> he does. Jesus Christ. There's <laughs> a ceiling fan going slowly above him. What the heck happened there? Yeah, he looks good there. Yeah, what Look, a hunk. Go, go to that bottom one, though. Holy shit. No, to the, to the left. Yeah. Yikes. That's no, Brando later one. years. The other one. that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Yeah, was that? Uh, I miss that guy. He, that is, that's a funny Bobby, guy. I want Fat Bob back. I'm yeah. sorry. He'll get there. Uh, don't worry. He'll, he'll be coming. back. He's coming back. Why are you talking like he's not coming back? <laughs> we all know he's coming. It's like saying, ah. Uh, <laughs> I wish that guy would go back to heroin. He will. Don't worry. <laughs> Give us some time. The, uh, but Marina, Marina, you said to me uh, at the at the when we did the shows at the Boston, and you used to have your own show. You were the person that said to me, and I was saying this earlier about Burr, and Marina was the other person that said this. You said, why don't you why don't you just be truthful about your insecurities? I said that? Yeah. And it changed like that was such a great, honest time. Because you you whether whether somebody was your friend or somebody you looked up to or whatever. Everybody was so honest, like with each other. It was brutal. It was I mean, it brutal. would make you want to cry but sometimes. That's not but a it mean was great. Brutal way. That's uh, that's not brutal. That's like that's her being helpful. No, think, but right? it's like in this day and age, you can't. You can. If you say you nice gotta way, really you tiptoe. You, you gotta tiptoe around these comics. Like, you know, like they don't. A they lot. Careful. Like I, the, I have gotten in trouble with some of the younger comics. They think I'm mean. Really? Yeah. You yeah. are mean, Marie. I, I was just doing what you guys used to do, or I would tell them what I would tell you, or whatever, and I could see the the water welling up in their eye. I was like, what's what's going on here? Yeah. Or, or they'd be like, can can you not? Can you just not do that? And mm. I'd be like. Oh my God! What's happening? Yeah, it was just I go. Around. This is where. This is what. How you get better is you it learn from people too. who came yeah. before. I was, I was trying to sexually assault you, and I don't know why you're being so uptight about it. It's pretty, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. Well, I heard a guy. I'm not gonna say who, but he said the word "cunt" at the table, and some another comic goes. All right, easy with the language. Oh my God, and I was who like, said that? I'll tell Man you names. after. I'll tell you after. Wait, but I was why like, why can't you say who said cunt? Why is that bad? Uh, you, don't don't have to, you don't have to rat out who reprimanded them. I'll okay. say, boy, let me say, cunt. <laughs> 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 but it was. I was. I remember sitting but there even, and I was like, whoa, this is weird. You can't even say cunt at the table. Even having a guy back then like Todd Lynn, who's gone, uh, who I I've, I I had such such insane clashes with I remember well, he Wayne was Ray, in New York Wayne Rada pulled us outside and he goes I will ban both of you from this fucking club if you don't stop Ty was not a friend like we guy. were screaming at that. each other like I, I got into <laughs> two like titanic fucking clashes with that guy but because he picked on me he pushed by me and then later when he got sick he he still had the greatest slam I've ever received ever in my oh, life oh hit me when he was blind he walked up to the, we were at Montreal and we were flying home and we, I was sitting at the gate and he walked up he was blind he had two canes and he goes he goes ugh DeRosa is that your awful voice I hear and I go yeah Todd and he goes ugh and I go I gotta be honest Todd I would have thought you getting sick would have softened you up a little bit and he goes just cause I'm blind doesn't mean you can't offend my other senses <laughs> 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 Even on the way out, he was that is like a three, you know, that, yeah, yeah, that's a swish. That, that's a buzzer. That, that but even having him around and Todd pissed off a lot of oh, people. Oh, yeah. Yes. And he would be proud of it. He'd be like, I'm a fucking villain. That's my, that, see, you don't know that what you are. <laughs> like, like, he was such a fucking cunt about it. Um, but it was good. It was like, all right, you, you got this guy around. It kind of keeps you on your toes a little bit. It's fucking frustrating. <laughs> but it was, it was, 
I don't know. There was something about being able to have a guy like that around where it wasn't like this 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 federal case. That well, it's really almost like the that. internet where there used to be gatekeepers and it was hard to get on TV. Now there's the internet, so you can put anything you want on YouTube. Yeah, we need gatekeepers. But we need a little of them in the middle. I you heard know? a guy in a basketball podcast. I forgot what player. I think it was Kevin Garnett said uh, in the NBA now it's He's, worse than it was in the '90s because they got rid of the they got rid of the goons and they kept the bullies. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I feel like the same goes for comedy. Yes. Where it's like, you need some of those dudes. Yeah. You do. Yeah. You don't want too many, but you don't want too little. You need some. It's yeah. a middle ground. What are you, you going to do? You're going to walk in the corner, and you're going to go, that guy's a fucking asshole, right? Well, the goons keep the bullies the in check. Like, you need you know? goons. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, but there were guys. I liked um, all that. I liked uh, Trees, even Apollo. Yeah. They were uh, they were good for each other. They were too. goons. But Teresa were... and DePaulo though had a had a genuine. Todd never. I mean, God damn, dude. Todd was well. Todd was, was just whatever. And sometimes people got their feelings hurt, and they would apologize later. Like Patrice would actually call someone up, like when he when Angelo was at the table uh-huh. at the comedy seller's table. The comedian Angelo Lozada, who I, I dated, right, loved. Oh, you yeah. yeah. uh, Angelo was the but best Angelo is the sweetest him, man, man in Great the world, guy. and okay. he came to the cellar table when you really could not sit there unless you were a comic mm-hmm. and someone who was managing told him he had to get up and he was so offended he ran out and, Pat- no, and well, he, no, or Patrice had, started laughing no 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 oh okay he said y'all y'all gonna let this happen <laughs> oh <laughs> yep we oh. took <laughs> We, we took the sign, you know. He had a little little placard. Yeah, yeah. put it in his face. Beat it. The sign said co- comedy seller comedians only. He used to sit on the table, which is no longer there, by the way. It's seen not peop- there? I've seen no. people throw that in, in people's faces before. I have in, my, in my earlier seller years. Dude, like, Esty wow. used to do it to me. When I sat at the table, like, I get out, Esty would go, uh, 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 like oh. that. Yeah. It was so fucking funny, though. I was like, all right, I'll fuck off. It was funny. Man. My point is, though, Patrice, when Angela ran out, because he was so upset, Patrice ran after him, grabbed, because he loved. Patrice didn't run after he nobody. Did. He did. He loved Angelo, and he what apologized to him. He was right. like, come on. Beating the shit out he of him. was like, you know I have, I love that stuff. So he did. He took, he loved Angelo. Uh-huh. This is how sweet Angelo was. This is how sweet, when Angelo was sick. Yeah. Because he, he had cancer, and I think he got diagnosed at, like, stage four. It, he got diagnosed late. Stomach cancer. I didn't know he was sick. I had no idea. And I saw him. And said he, he was, looked good. He was thin. Yeah, and I go, I go, dude, you look fucking great. What are you working out? And he's like, you know, Poppy, just living, you know, I'm doing my thing. Uh. <laughs> and then, like, a week later, somebody was like, you know, Angelo has, like, stage four. And I was like. Jesus Christ, man. He's on his but deathbed. Was, Joe's like, dude, you're looking well-rested. He was well-rested. so gracious yeah. that he wasn't like going to be like, yeah. dude, I'm sick. Like He just was like, thanks, buddy. I appreciate yeah. that. Like, like, it's God. like Norm MacDonald. Yeah, it's wild, man. He was a really nice guy. But yeah, Patrice. I loved Angelo whenever he would he would host at Gotham all the time. And he was like just good energy, man. Oh, he's the a best. funny dude. Yeah, nice dude. very I supportive and encouraging. Yeah. Uh, not he was the opposite of all those guys. He was very <laughs> encouraging to younger comics, like in a way that he helped yeah. you with your bits. He told you what was funny. He told you what was good about you. He was just all around, just wonderful human being. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I, nobody I did that shit. Huh? You, you <laughs> want them to get better. Smash. <laughs> but then some people weren't happy. I saw Ted Alexander, who I looked up to, and Patrice with the seller. I was super green. I, did, I stayed away. But Ted sat down at the table, and Patrice goes, look at this fucking sweater. What the hell? And Ted just got up and walked away. And I was like, oh, I didn't know we could do that. I didn't know you could just get up and leave. He he was like, I'm, I'm an adult. I'm, are you going to make fun of my outfit? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> when you break it down like that, it does sound like, yeah, it like it blew silly. my mind. I was like, oh, I thought you just had to get yelled Look, at for it's, half it's, an hour. It's, it's <laughs> like any, it's like anything else. Like, of course, it's like anything else. You take the good with the bad. Like it's like, of course, it went too far sometimes. Of course, it was unnecessary. Of course, at times it was juvenile. But overall, I felt like the good that came from it was could be constructive if sure. you if you were willing to take the time yourself to fil- to sort of filter through. What was being said and, and what the the value of what? But was being everybody said. got it though. Right. Everybody, nobody was sitting there untouched. Yeah. Everybody got it. If you were in, you got it. If you weren't in, you didn't get it. Which is what 
why I found value in it. I was like, I'm part of this. I'm right. getting right. fucked. Uh, it, it is what? hilarious to be like, you're one of us, you ugly piece well, of shit. Yeah. The, the <laughs> best weird, part but... of that time, too, was that like Patrice and those guys made fun of younger comics who were coming in and also liked these younger comics. Not all of them, but for the most part. Like Patrice, when he did his document, his uh, video for his his uh, roast or whatever, mm. he wanted to include like comics that weren't yet passed. And nowadays, you kind of see like a separation where it's like, yes. these are the good comics. These are the struggling comics. These are the ones who aren't passed. You stay over there. You stay over there. Where Patrice would always like, he would trash you, but he would say, come on over here and mm. be a part of this. True. So that was what was good about it. And I don't That's know if you have that now. Yeah, it's a good point. It's like inclusivity. You, you know, we like, say it, but it's all bullshit. Do you feel like Patrice was like really captured in the specials? Because I feel like Elephant in the Room he was, but I feel like this other stuff that wasn't like, didn't capture what, what, as good what, as he was. What are the other stuff? Like his half hours or his like stuff like that. Well, he got, what happened, I think, as he went along, he seen what didn't work. Like he didn't love his um, half hour HBO. Right. But the woman from HBO... I, I, she had told me, huh? I'll never book him again. Really? You know. And, um, like Bill, Bill Burr and Patrice did the special the same night. Mm. I watched that. I was there. And yeah. Bill cleaned house. Billy killed. I remember when I saw that that night. Billy, Patrice did great. Billy killed in a way where I was like, Holy shit! This guy's about to be like right. This really? is, remember that half hour? The, here we the like, brunch bit. Is that pesto? That Bill Burr oh, yeah. thing? Yeah. That he ended with the thing about going to MLK to see yes. the black girl who's dating. I was like, this fucking guy's Danny Glover to... Boulevard. Yeah, like holy. Or shit. Frederick well, what Douglass. Happened is yeah. They sold um, Burr's um, half hour to Comedy Central. But they didn't buy Patrice's. Uh. And that kind of hurt a little bit. So Patrice put an elephant in the room, put everything in it. Mm. And he called me like, hey, what are they saying in the barbershops? Because mm. I told him, like, hey, and the barbershop is talking, it's popping. Yeah. So he said, what are they saying? Ain't giving it a thumbs up. All right. That and that was Elephant in the Room. Yeah, yeah. That was a great special. Yeah. So he he, he couldn't go down on that one. He's yeah. Like, I'm not right. going down. I mean, my, my, my mom likes Patrice. Damn. Yeah. My mom's religious. She doesn't like when he talks about pussy and all that stuff. That's <laughs> too much. That's too graphic. But she anything else he does, my mom likes Patrice. Like, Patrice... Uh, it, it it was he he was doing a universal strangely uh, for as polarizing as it was doing a very universal uh, in my opinion. Well, it was undeniable thing. when you when you're that funny. It's like, yeah. It, but yeah. I did enjoy him walking people out of comedy clubs. I have to say, I haven't seen anyone do it. The way Patrice would upset like a man with his wife, he'd be like, "She's got you like this. Look at you." And I remember a guy just standing up. He's like, and he was in almost in tears. He's like, you can't say that about me. And he goes, I just did. And uh, the guy just <laughs> storms out. He goes, come on. And it's just, you see the, I, th like there's an, I know it's dysfunctional and I know it's not like good, but there was an art to that yeah. that I completely loved. But I think that it, you know, when he did that special, he had learned a lesson that, you know, this one had to be it for him. Yes. Mm -hmm. He could not mess up on this one. Well, I saw him at, it was a, I saw him at Carolines. He did a joke about the tsunami. It was when the tsunami happened. He did a joke about the tsunami. He opened with a joke. I remember this joke. Yeah, and he goes, that didn't look that bad. It looked like if you pulled your pants up, you'd be... <laughs> 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 These people from England walked... I've never seen anything like this. He, within, like... 48 seconds or something of stepping on stage he walked three people that were in the country from england visiting they went to the bar i was out i think i opened for him that's why i was there or maybe i just might have been watching but I, I was sitting at the bar while he was on stage they walked out and they sat there and bitched about him for two fucking hours wow. how offended they were and how they were waiting for him and they waited 
just to verbally accost him when he came out after the show. That's how mad they were. But and Patrice they never looked upset. He would always smile. Yeah. He was dragged. They were. They got so aggressive with him that they drug the security was like dragging them basically or shoving them up the stairs at Caroline's and as they were doing it the woman goes you're an embarrassment to America Whoa. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and the guy security goes all right you got to go miss it was that guy Eddie and Patrice goes no man this is fun <laughs> <laughs> Well, he famously said that if 50% of the audience loves you and 50% hates you, you're doing the right thing, which whenever I have a under par set, I just tell myself that. I'm like, ah, 50% hated me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Patrice. But all, everybody in there, though, has a load of that. I mean, you do and you do. But I see you guys, you can't take the chances yeah. to, you know. Oh, I walked some people last night. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> Every once in a while, you like, got to walk some sets. people. Yeah. You can't always have everybody all in. Right. You yeah. got to walk some And I, I get upset when people walk out still. Not I me. do too. But of I course, do too because to it's not myself. my intention. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like if you're just listening with an open mind, nobody needs to walk out. Right. But right. it happens. And I'm always, I still have that thing in me where I'm like, oh, all right, I guess. Yeah. You can't expect every crowd <laughs> yeah. to like you when you and when you do a shitload of sets. Every once in a while, it's okay, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. As long yeah. as your motives aren't to like fucking embarrass someone. Wait, but you said to... something about rape one time. <laughs> you have to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got in trouble. Yeah, dude. you got in trouble yeah. for, for that yeah. one. Huh? Yeah. It's, it's such a joke, a clear joke. That's what's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, people. If if you're looking for shit to be upset about. You could find right. it pretty easily with any of our acts. Yeah, so, true. I mean, there was nothing was said in any malice. It's just, you know, people are fucking bored. And this is like, this is their form of entertainment. I'm upset. I'm going to write a blog. And then you're like, enjoy. But yeah. I'm going to write something back. And we'll, and we'll do this little dance for a second. That's it. I'm that way. I'm that way in real life. Like, like I was saying, I was at the Kiss show. We kept walking out of our seats me and paul italia kept walking out of our seats because we were because my friend nick was trying to get us closer to the stage and this whole thing but these people that were sitting at the end of our row were getting really mad and i'm like they're in the seventh row at the fucking kiss show on the floor at mascara we got our tickets for free they probably paid like five grand for these fucking seats i felt bad and i went up to the guy and i go listen man i'm not trying to ruin your night do you take our seats they're better you, yeah, they're in the center, and we'll take yours, and we won't walk back. And he goes, "Good fuck you, get the fuck back." And I was like, "No, dude, no, 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 no." I'm trying to tell you, I'm just. And he goes, "Get the fuck back to you." And, and Paul was like, "Joe, walk away." But that's how I feel with the audience sometimes. Mm. I'm like, "No, no, I wasn't trying to." Hold on a second, Not hold me. on. And they're like, "No, th we don't want to hear." And I'm like, "Right." Okay, I guess so, man. Like, it's not my intention. Like, I just want to... It I'm gives just... me joy to see him walk. This, uh, this needs shoulder pads. <laughs> oh, there we go. Are a jo well, I mean, am I getting too sincere? Sorry. No, no, you're good. But no, I, I know what you mean, here. though, dude. Funny no, I, with fucking whiskey. I, people are looking for shit to be angry about. There's, they are. There's a lot of people... Well, can I change gears and yeah. go into peeves real quick? Sure. Right on that? Do I have a, do you know we have do a good peeves? peeves? You, oh, we do I like, should have told what you What is this, the Paul Verzi podcast? The bone it's, to pick? part of our thing. So does anyone have any pet peeves? Well, everyone here has them. Yes. yes. What do you got? What do you got? Well, my pet peeve is Joe. Yeah, I, didn't, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Hey, Joe, what do you like better? Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny? <laughs> and fucks when you do that. Oh, wait. You're, are you talking about my podcast? Yes. It annoys <laughs> the shit out of me. All right. All right. He like ginger snaps. On chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh. Taste buds. Right. I'll tell you what. I'll buy you something nice with the money I make on that. <laughs> oh, get him a new cane. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Taste Buds, folks. A show that Keith Robinson will never be on. I guarantee it. I can't well, pronounce most of this shit. <laughs> What do you prefer, Keith, Viagra or Cialis? Uh, let's, let's do an episode. No, man. 
<laughs> she owls, man. <laughs> Keith, Keith, stroke number one or stroke number two? <laughs> you got to go with stroke number two. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that's hilarious. We should probably wrap this shit up. All right, all right, all right. Well, Marina? Should, plug, in, plug some Ready? dates. Oh. Oh, where are you going to be? You got a website? Oh, yes. So on um, December 16th, I'm going to be at the City Winery. There you go. Headlining nice. in the loft at the nice. City Winery. Oh, oh. Eve. so then just uh, Eve. go to well, listen, the we Still Stacks in, in February. Oh, uh, st- where Stacks in February? If I had known, I would have worn a lo- festive shirt. Um, still stacks in February. I can't remember. Oh, steel stacks is a good room. In uh, Pennsylvania. P- Pennsylvania. Sorry, is it not on my calendar? It's in February. Uh, okay. You're in January. Sorry. Look Go at see. look at that body that south, I used south. to have. Fucking but, Sam is gonna light you up. Oh, you know what? I haven't put it there. Sorry. <laughs> You know what? Just go and check out my podcast, uh, Friends Like Us. You or go. you could also, for the holidays, everybody, check out Single Black Female. Mm, okay. I'm, I'm talking about woke pre uh, taking over the woke What's word. woke? All right. What? They stole, they stole woke. <laughs> they, yeah. they weaponized it. Yeah. There you go. The white people steal everything. I think uh, a black woman can be too Sal- first. Sally as well. Keys. Scroll up. Oh. Sorry, just oh yeah, yeah. Uh all right, folks. Thanks for having me on the show, guys. Uh I'm on my I Never Promised You a Rose Garden tour. Twenty twenty four, January thirteenth, New York, New York at the Gramercy Theater. I'm doing Austin, Texas, the old uh, mothership there. Whee! Four shows, January nineteenth and twentieth uh of January. And then after that, uh Nashville in February, Charlotte. San Fran, West Hollywood, San Diego, and then in March, Palmade, California, Palmdale, sorry, California, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington. For all tickets and all uh, uh, show info, ticket links, whatever, go to JoeDeRosa.com, please. And please come on down to Joey Rose's. Joey Rose's. Yeah, awesome. great bar. Dot com. Get yourself a sandwich. Guys, Springfield, Missouri, uh, Madison, Dania Beach, Philly. Uh, some other shit. I can't read. Irvine. That's a real tour, Joe. Yeah. Dallas. When's the special? Take? Oklahoma City, Omaha. My yes. Fucking knuckles will tour New your special teeth. in uh, Boston. <laughs> March, I believe, seventh and eighth or eighth and ninth. I can't read that shit, but it's right. samarell.com and uh, new special coming soon, folks. Yeah, marknormancomedy.com. You can see the dates uh, coming to Shreveport and uh, fucking Phoenix. Next Austin, <laughs> Raleigh, Atlanta, Salt Lake City, you you name it. Tucson, El Paso, Albuquerque, Memphis, Little Rock, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Syracuse. Yeah, Mark McConaughey, get some Bodega Cat. BodegaCatWhiskey.com, folks. Uh, thanks for listening. We love you. Have a Merry wait, wait, Christmas. Keith, you got a Keith. Yeah, my special. This the summer nineteenth. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, did I st- I just stepped on you closing no, out your own podcast. I'm so fine. sorry. It's all good. No, you're not. You're not sorry. <laughs> no, I am sorry. I, I just I, uh, I feel like it. Uh, we'll we'll, 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 we'll do a we'll clip. A... We'll do clips. We'll do clips to plug Keith. Cause now we fucked up. I thought this was. I a, thought this was coming out earlier. Seventeenth. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is after his special. Yeah. We'll yeah. Plug it oh, oh, ah, good. God damn. We'll plug it. We'll plug it on social. <laughs> We're gonna sell it out. We're for gonna. No, that's all right, man. Nobody cares. What about the pet Great up. You well, we peeve? ran out of time, unless you got one. Give us a peeve. I do have several, but... Um, Give us one. My pet peeve is when my super mops the floor from the fifth, and he leaves the water on the floor, and then he goes back up to mop it. Oh, weird. That's a weird... I was a janitor. That's a oh, bad that's my move. my pet peeve. Like, if you mop the floor, like, dry it immediately. Hmm. You got to sue this guy. I had slip. an argument with Pepito recently Pepito. about this so please if you do this make sure it's dry floor well, well, Pe- Pepito's listening yeah Pepe <laughs> Pepito. gives me a <laughs> <laughs> I'm peeved at your Pepe why and it's There's, I could fall and I'll sue alright All right. there you well, go thanks folks. for listening guys <laughs> Pepito we got you someone to suck on there dude <laughs> Appreciate beer juice. Thank you, Salamanca, Matt Peters. Merry Christmas. We love you guys. We might be drunk. Happy holidays.
on the good list this year, so I'm gonna have to deliver some more presents. It was wonderful to see you. Oh, hey, right. even you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right, someone plug in Kevin Spacey GPS. For <laughs> <laughs> So you got the original sweatshop over there in the North Pole, huh? Yes, it's been very nice. Uh, it's nice, cheap labor. Yeah. And um, you just have to feed them some milk and cookies that I uh, take from the houses that I come to. So it's really quite easy. A lot of people think that I eat them, but now instead I bring them so I can get some free labor. You know, I just remember when I was a kid, I saw you fucking my mom. <laughs> oh, yes, that was very nice. Oh, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, okay? Thanks. Merry Thanks. Christmas! Thanks.